what you think about when you're born into a fire. Let them burn, let them burn it out. Sell them to the richest buyer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. A very good... A very good Monday. A very good evening as well. Hello to you all. It's good to have you. It's good to have you on this... Uh, well, I mean, I guess technically, super technically, it is the second stream this Monday. Uh, since my previous stream uh, ended early this morning. Um, so, so technically I ended my previous stream also on, on this exact date, then I went to sleep and then I woke up and, and now here we are. So, so technically this is, um, this is the second stream of, of this, this Monday. It's, I, I feel that it's been a while since I've done two streams in a row. Although maybe I haven't, maybe it's not been too long, but, but still, still. Hello, Mr. Streamer. Hello, Mr. Viewer and Mr. Mod, Mr. Moderator. I, uh, hello. And everyone else also. Hello. 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 It was before 3 a.m., so Peter was happy. Yes, yes, he was. Yes, exactly, exactly. It was before It was before 3 a.m., so we were totally fine. It was all good. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too late. And then this morning also wasn't too late, so I guess that was also, that was also nice that I didn't wake up too late um, this morning. So, so yeah, that was that as well. But also, also, I, I, I need to change my lamp again. I always forget that. Why do I always forget that? Wait, wait, hang on. Before I say my intro thingy, let me do this and then that and then perfect. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Now I can say a good evening, everyone. Good evening and good time zone to all of you. How is everyone doing today? My name is Mr. Delicious. Welcome to the stream on this uh, Monday, June 27th, 2022. Hello, hello. I mean, you are naked. Wait, am I naked? Why, why am I naked? What do you mean? Why am I naked? <laughs> I'm not naked. Wait, are you are you are you seeing something that I'm not? <laughs> um Crap, I was gonna say something and then I saw your message about me being naked and I was like, wait, wait, what's going on? Why am I naked? <laughs> no, Villy, not the not not the not the licking not the licking emotes. Those emotes are are 
uh, those emotes are, I, I want to say, low-key cursed. <laughs> they are funny, though, but they're low-key cursed. Wait, see-through. Wait, is it see-through? It's not, no, it's not see-through. Look, you can't, you can't see, no, it's not, it's not see-through. It's all good. It's all good. How is everyone doing, by the way, chat? How is everyone doing? I mean, we haven't, uh, oh, naked face. Oh, yeah, my face is naked today. Yeah, that's true. I, 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 I do have a naked face. But how's everyone doing? We uh we haven't I mean we've seen each other not too long ago of course. Uh yesterday if you were here for the uh the second Twitch Leather Pride stream, uh you've already, you know, we've already been here. So um please don't think uh, please don't take things I say serious. <laughs> it's um I guess that is that is that is that is that is just something that I do. Um, if there's one thing that I struggle with in life, it is sarcasm. I always, I always struggle with whether or not things are like sarcastic. So it's not, it's not like, you know, it's nothing personal, but I sometimes struggle with that. But please do keep on, you know, making jokes. And I'm just going to have to learn that things aren't always as serious as I, as I think they are. You know, it's, it's good. It's a good exercise. It's a good exercise. But how is everyone doing today, Chad? Hopefully, uh, hopefully you had a good uh, weekend, or if you know, if you if you were here, of course, yesterday. Hopefully, you had a good night's sleep, I guess, and a good start of your week on Monday. Um, I had I had such a blast this weekend. I had so much fun with the Twitch Leather Pride uh, events, um, but also you know, with with my friend being over here, of course, um, you know, on, on Saturday and Sunday, it was a lot of fun as well. Um, but it, I I had such a it's such a good time on the two streams that we did uh, over the weekend for the uh, Twitch Leather Pride event. So. Uh, everyone that tuned in to them, I, I just want to say thank you to all of you as well for your support and for tuning in and for, um, yeah, for being here and, and basically, you know, like allowing me to to use this platform to create visibility for, you know, I guess our communities. And uh, like I said yesterday as well, and and, and I, I think also on, on, on Friday, um, what I what I kind of intend to do with with these events as well is to try and normalize, um, I guess, King, but also normalize you know, our communities, like especially the puppy community. Um, I, I, th I think it's very important to that people see that, you know, it's not as weird as some people might think. It's not as scary as some people might think. And it's it's just something that um, I believe is, is, you know, completely normal. And I think it's completely fine. So uh, with these events, I always try to achieve that. So um, thank you for allowing me to to do that, I guess. So so, yeah. Yeah, I had, and I also thank you for allowing me to stream in um, in in gear, but also in um, well, I guess in in gear, but also on 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 Friday, of course, in not really that many that much gear because on Friday I didn't wear that much except for my harness. So yeah, that was a thing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, today went well. Uh, me and my boyfriend were lucky that the farmers got off the A7 in the direction we needed to drive on time. I was worried that I ended up in that. Oh yeah, there was a thing. I, I mean, I totally missed that. But apparently there was a thing today with uh, a farmer's protest. I don't know why they are protesting. All I know is that there was like a protest planned and apparently it was today. Uh, I, I kind of, you know, get from your message. There was a protest planned for by farmers and they were like, you know, taking their their tractors and like their farming equipment uh, on like uh, the Dutch highways in order to create chaos and also create like awareness for something that they are striving for. And again, I'm not necessarily sure what that is, but I did hear there was something planned. I didn't know it was today, though, so, you know. But happy that you had a good day, though, at Timelight. I'm happy to hear that, that you had a good day. Um, so, yeah. Different direction was stuck as hell, though. Oh, really? So you were kind of luck lucky that you were going in the direction that you were. Wait, but you didn't have any issues with that, like, on the way back? Because I assume, you know, you were going somewhere, but then you also had to go back. So you had to drive, like, in the opposite direction. So hopefully you didn't have, like, a lot of issues on the way back, though. Um, but, yeah. But yeah, I had such a good weekend, chat. I really had such a good weekend, and I can't wait for the next uh, Twitch Leather Pride event, which I believe is scheduled in September um, to coincide with the um, the Folsom Street Festival in Berlin, I believe it is. Um, so, so we're gonna do. We're definitely. I'm definitely gonna participate again at that time uh, for sure. So you know, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait for that. But it's you know, it's September is still a couple of we a couple of months away. So. Uh, we can prepare and I can figure out what gear I want to wear. Maybe I'm going to do another rubber stream. Maybe I'm going to do something else. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And maybe 
but it kind of highly depends. Maybe I would like to do three streams as well. I would love to do like an entire weekend. Um, then again, I also feel that maybe that would be a bit much. I kind of liked that I had some time off um, between like, you know, my Friday and my, my Sunday streams. Um... Because also, the thing is also that, of course, if I do an entire weekend of stream, so like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then also I do like four days of streaming in a row because I do Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then on Monday, I do like a regular stream again, like I do today. Uh, so that would be like four streams in a row, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just not sure if it is something that, you know, I should do in terms of like, you know, mental health and, and making sure that I can, you know, relax a little bit uh, outside of streams. But anyway, that's in, that's going to be in September. So like that's I, I don't have to worry about that just yet. Um, so, yeah. Is some self-time not important as well? Yeah, no, exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. And as much as I love doing these streams, um, I mean, one of the only reasons, well, well, not one of the only, but like one of the reasons that I would love to do three streams for the Twitch Leather Pride events is that I could do three different outfits. <laughs> but I'm not sure if that is like the best reason to do like an extra stream. So, <laughs> so, so yeah. So yeah. Also, by the way, today I'm also wearing a new outfit, um, as you probably could have told. Um, I talked about this a little bit yesterday on the stream as well. I got, I ordered a uh, uh, an MX gear set, uh, and it came in today. Um, and I'm wearing, I'm not wearing the entire gear set though because you can't see the under, you know, you can't see my pants anyway, uh, or my feet, or like you know, you can't see that anyway. Um, but I am wearing the shirt because I, I kind of like it's. It's a very comfortable shirt. I really like the way it, it feels and it fits. Um, and plus, I kind of like the design as well, so it's not necessarily like a very... I think I might just wear this, well, maybe not in summer because, you know, it's still long sleeve. Um, but I think I definitely might wear this like in fall or like in winter maybe even. Well, maybe not in winter, but like, you know, in after the summer, I think I might definitely wear this just casually as well because it's a nice shirt and it's it's it doesn't look very weird, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very comfortable shirt. I really like it. So yeah, MX Brook. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, so I got the, um, I ordered an MX gear set. So I got the, the shirt, I got the pants, I got gloves that I'm also not wearing today. I got, uh, boots and that's it. That's it. Um, I got the boots with me here though, by the way, you guys want to see them because they're, they're kind of, they're kind of pretty cool. I, I kind of really like them. Wait, let me, let me grab one of them because they're, they're, they're super big. I got the box and I, in my, in my head, the box with like the entire package was going to be like a very, like, like this. Uh, but then I got the box and it was like a giant, a giant box. I was like, heck, what, what is inside of this box? And then I opened it up and like the, the box for the boots was like, you know, standing like straight up. And it was a surprisingly big one. Like these boots are ginormous. Look at them. I mean, you can't, I'm not sure if you can tell from like, you know, the stream, but they, they are really big. They are giant, ginormous, but I think they look really cool. Um, and they're, they're actually also what I didn't expect. They're surprisingly comfortable to wear as well. I mean, very hot temperature wise. Uh, but surprisingly comfortable to wear. Um, one thing that I didn't know, though, is that you have these buckles here on the side that you can, like, you know, you can pop them open to, you know, step in, uh, step in the boots. I, I didn't know that you could pop them open. I didn't know that you could actually, you know, click them out and then, you you know, you had a little bit more space. I didn't know that. So when I tried to get them on for the first time, it was still surprisingly hard to get in. But I was like, wait, why is this so hard? Um... And uh, I was like, yeah, I don't know why this is so hard, but it really is like freaking hard to get in these things. Uh, and then after the, after I tried to get them out, uh, get them off, I realized that I could, you know, undo these buckles and I could just open the entire boot and then it would be so much easier. So I was like, oh, that's how it works. That's how this works. But yeah, they, these look really cool and they go pretty well with the entire the entire kit. Um, so, yeah, I'm very happy with that. I'm, I'm very, I feel this is, no, 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 no. I was going to say this might be like my, my, my biggest gear purchase yet, but I'm not sure if that's true, but um, yeah, I'm very happy with them. By the way, how are you doing? I'm doing very good, Zhang. Thank you for asking. I'm doing really good. Um, I got my MX gear from a friend that is really secondhand, so the boots don't look good at all. But I like the shirt and pants. Maybe I'll buy some new in the future, but maybe I want leather. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, you want leather boots? Because I do think that the boots technically are made of leather as well. Or, you know, there's like leather components in it, but you want like, you know, a leather kit. Um, I, one suggestion that I can give you is, is look at the side that I got this kit from as well, because I believe they have uh, some very good deals. Like these boots weren't that expensive at all. Uh, I mean, 
they were still somewhat expensive, of course, but like, you know, there's also boots that are like 400 euros. Uh, but these weren't like ne not nearly that. So if you if you check out that site, then maybe you can get some MX boots um, for like a very reasonable price, maybe. Um, so, you know, I mean, I think like, you know, as well, like, you know, like MX shirts and pants and stuff like that. I think they have um, some pretty good deals on, on things overall. What site? It's called 24mx.nl. Uh, they also have like other international sites because initially I was looking at the German site, uh, 24mx.de. Uh, and then I was like, wait, can I just go to, is there like a Dutch site maybe? Uh, and there was, so I was like, oh, I can just buy from like the Dutch site instead of going to, through like the German site because I, I got it recommended from a, uh, a puppy friend of mine. Um, he was like, yeah, you need to go to this site. So I, I went there, but he just linked me to German sites. So I was like, oh yeah, well, I know German, so it's fine. Uh, but then I realized there was also a, a Dutch version of it as well. So that was, that was kind of like a little bit more convenient. So, um, so yeah. Oh, you know, that one, nice. Yeah, so you can definitely check that one out. Um, I, I would highly recommend that. Um, so yeah, yeah. I really, lo I really love how the entire kit looks though. I, I, I took a picture of it this afternoon and posted it on my Instagram and my, my puppy Twitter. Uh, I really love how it looks. I, I think it looks really, really cool on me. So I'm very happy with, um, very happy with that. Um, but it's surprisingly warm to wear. So I, I wasn't going to realize, I wasn't realizing that, but it's surprisingly warm to wear. So, um, yeah. Anyway, chat. Anyway, tonight uh, we're going to play, um, I think tonight we're going to do what I was intending to do on, on Friday. Um, on Friday, I was planning to play uh, two games, uh, but then, you know, we kind of impromptu did a Jackbox stream uh, and we played some Fortnite with, uh, with Phoenix. Um, so I'm, I, so I didn't actually end up playing the games that I wanted to play. So I'm guessing we're going to do that tonight. Also, I just now realized I didn't make a schedule for this week. Heck, I totally didn't make a schedule for this week. I, I was like at my PC this afternoon, but I was probably too caught up in like, I, I mean, I, I think, I think I didn't realize that it was Monday because I was live yesterday. I think my brain was like, yeah, it's not Monday. So I totally didn't think about that. So I didn't make a schedule for this week that I posted like I normally do. Um, but that's okay. We're just going to wing it this week. You know, let's just wing it and let's just play whatever we feel like playing. Um, instead of like, you know, committing ourselves to like a certain thing. But of course, you know, as always, we play, we stream on, on you know, our regular uh, three scheduled days. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and in terms of games, we're just going to see what we're going to be, what we feel like playing. Like, you know, maybe I'm going to play something tonight. I'm like, hey, I want to play that again. And then we're just going to play it again. Um, Heck, that's that's a bummer, though. Well, a bummer. That's like, I didn't realize that. Um, Speaking of bummers, I, I think I mentioned this last week. I, I applied for a job um, at, at a company in my city. I, I got an email today that sadly they don't have a position for me today or, you know, at this moment. So, um, that was a bit of a bummer because I was kind of hoping that they would have one. Um, but sadly, you know, that, that it's, it's not in the cards. So uh, I'm just going to have to look further for, you know, other opportunities. But, um, yeah, that was, there was some news that I got today that uh, kind of bummed me out a little bit. So, so yeah, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't really have anything else to share with you guys, I guess, today. Um, unless you guys have anything you would like to share with, with like, you know, with me or with everyone else, like about how your weekends were or how you enjoyed the Twitch Leather Pride event, like if you did something for it or um, anything like that, then absolutely, of course, feel free to share that. Uh, but I think other than that, I don't have a lot of things that I want to, that I need to share with, um, with everyone. Um, so yeah. Hey, Star Sash, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Um, so the games that I wanted to play tonight were uh, Mr. Prepper, um, which is a, I think it's some sort, it's, I'm not sure what kind of game it is, but I, I, I've seen it and it looks kind of fun. Uh, so I wanted to play that. I'm playing the free version, which is called Mr. Prepper Prologue, um, which is a, it's, I believe it's like a standalone version of the game, but it doesn't have like all features. But I wanted to try that out first and see if I like it. And then if I do, I might want to get the full version of the game. Uh, but I was like, hey, since there is a free version, I might as well try that and then see if we actually like it or not. Uh, and then after that, after we've played that for a little bit, I feel that I want to play some uh, The Division 2 because I've never played the New York expansion from The Division 2. 
Um, and I kind of felt like recently I was like, you know what? I kind of want to play that game again. Um, so I feel like maybe we can just go in there and just experience the New York expansion. Because like I said, I've never played that yet. And I loved the first game taking place in New York. Um, so I'm very curious what the what the second like the second game in that city is going to is going to be like. So I think that's that's the plan for today. If you guys are OK with that. And even if you guys are not OK with that, I guess it's still the plan for today. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel there was something else that I wanted to share with you guys as well. But now I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Was there? Was there? And then I, I realized that maybe maybe there wasn't. But I, I thought there was something else I wanted to share. But but maybe not. Also, if you missed the um, uh, if you guys missed the Twitch Leather Pride streams that we had uh, over the weekend, of course, there will be uh, one of them is already up on the VODs channel. The other one will be live tomorrow. Uh, so you can go over there and, and you can find all the old streams uh, and those as well. So you can watch them back if you were like, hey, I missed something or I missed part of them or whatever. Uh, you can watch the entire thing back over on my VODs channel on YouTube. Um, which is where, you know, for those of you who don't know that, which is where you can find all the old streams. Um, or, you know, all the old streams as of like November 2020. Uh, but I always upload my streams there. So they, uh, they appear there like usually like a day, uh, give or take after um i i ended my stream so you know it takes like i i always keep them like 24 hours because that's the time that twitch wants exclusivity on the content and then after that i'm free to do with it what i want so i always wait 24 hours before i publish them um so yeah 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 i'm guessing we could go ahead and play our first game for tonight um, I'm, playing, I'm going to play some Fortnite, might be back later. No worries, Time Knight, no worries. Enjoy your games. Hopefully you get a victory royale. And, uh, you know, hopefully you have a good time in general. Uh, all right, let me let me change my category. Uh, let's see, is there a... Okay, there's not a prologue thing, but that's fine. That is okay. Um... And then I'm going to start the game. That is definitely like normally on Mondays, I always feel like I have quite a few things to share because, you know, of course, we I haven't streamed the entire weekend. But that's that's kind of the thing since I streamed yesterday. Um, I don't have that much things that I can share with all of you um, like tonight. So that's definitely a thing that I kind of like about normal. <laughs> Excuse me, normally the Monday streams are always a lot of fun. Oh, well, I mean, you know, all of them are fun, but like the Monday streams I always like that we have, um, we have, um, like, you know, some things to talk about because, you know, we can talk about our weekends and such. And, and now, of course, since I streamed yesterday, it's not really, I don't really have that much to share about my weekend. So, yeah. Um, all right. Also, I have no idea. Like, I have, I've never played this game before, so it's going to be like a first for me as well. So, um, yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't know exactly what kind of game I need to expect, but I do think it's going to be fun. Definitely looks like a fun game. So, we are going to experience that. So, it's kind of like a first look game, I guess. Um, all right. Because I have, we have, of course, like the first look things. Uh, it's kind of like that, I guess. Today. Okay, let's see. Mr. Prepper Prologue. I love this. I love this menu. A casual Stanley, thanks so much for the host. I appreciate it. I love this menu. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. Very, uh, very dark a little bit, but still sort of funny. Also, something else that is new, and I, I mean, I'm not going to say, I, I have no idea when we can try that out for the first time, but I, I made something new that whenever we, uh, whenever we have a hype train, I want to make something, I want to make something deeper for that as well. But whenever we got a hype train, there's going to be also a sound effect that's going to play as soon as the hype train starts. So hopefully we can test that out in the future sometimes, but um, I want to make something that actually like the, the progress shows up on, str on screen as well. Um, so, you know, it's not just like in the chat, but you can also like visually see it on the, um, uh, like on screen here. 
Um, so yeah, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Casual Sally. I'm doing good. How are you? All right, new game. Day one. Oh, I got an achievement already. The Path of Mr. Prepper, because I started the game, I guess. Prepare yourself for the worst. That's an interesting tip. Or, you know, a quote from Spider-Man. Always expect disappointment. That way you'll never be disappointed. Which I think is partially true. I think it's partially true. Hey, we got an achievement. For 981. Gamer score. Good boy. Nice. Thank you so much. Uh, who gave that? Tago. Tago, thank you so much. You want to play the tutorial? Yes, I do. Ever since the plague and the change of the government, this town has been unbearable. I see audio chat. It's filled only with boredom, propaganda, and control. I've tried to escape, and I've failed this time. But I'll find a way. I'll find a way. They call me Mr. Prepper. Oh, I think that was it. Uh, laying in bed sick, uh, so I've decided to have your stream up so I don't feel so lonely. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That you're fe not feeling too well, but I'm happy that we can keep you company. I'm very happy that we can keep you company. And we are back at your place of residence, citizen. For an attempted escape, we have confiscated your vehicle. This is standard procedure. Obviously, you are also prohibited from buying or registering a new one. The agency expresses hope that you will not attempt to leave Murkaville again. Murkaville! <laughs> Oh sure, and I, now I plan to fall back in love with this beautiful town. This is a commendable attitude, citizen. From today onwards, you are also on probation. I will come for a brief inspection regularly to check for any subversive actions or items. This is standard procedure. I'm sure you will comply and my visits will only be a formality. Bless the president. Bless. Yeah, of course, bless the president. Uh, tutorial. This is a tutorial. Let me show you around. Might just be, uh, in-game is a bit quiet. Okay, wait, let me see if I can make it a little bit, uh, let's see, audio. Let me turn the volume a little bit more up. Ambient effects. I see, this is as much as I can, I can make it go. So I think this is, uh, this is the highest I can make it. Any relations to Dr. Prepper? <laughs> Dr. Prepper. All right, let's see. Move camera with WASD or the right mouse button. Move Mr. Prepper with the mouse button. All right, we're going to make him go inside. Hmm? Morning jog. Nah. Uh. Double click to run. All right. Uh, any object to see what you can do with it? It's not a good time for that. Oh wait, left mouse button. Mm. What can I do with this object? Open. Mm. It's not a good time for that. Okay. Ah. You're tired after your escaped attempt. You deserve a nap. Wait, how does he go upstairs though? Nap. Oh wait, he goes through this door, I guess, and there's a staircase behind there. All right, that makes sense. Oh, there's a fly in my room and I think it's been there since yesterday, which is super annoying. I like to go for a bath for a short nap. Yeah, sure. You are hungry. Go eat something. Mm. Alright, let's go eat something. Alright, so we can see our... We can see our health or our energy and our hunger, I think, over here on the top. Um, let's eat a soup. Eat. There we go. Preparedness. Keep your preparedness high. This is your preparedness. Okay. It's your most valuable stat. It, if it drops to zero, you will faint. Oh no, that's not good. Stay well fed and well rested to keep it high. Okay. <laughs> Check your new escape plan. Oh man, that fly is like sitting on my fingers, on my face. It's super annoying. Um, goal number one, survive. Goal number two, escape. Build the bunker. Build the first room of my bunker. 
Go away. Oh man, I hope you guys can't see that fly because it's really annoying. Okay, build the first room of your bunker. Okay, we're gonna build it here, I guess. Build. Alright, so we're gonna build a bunker, which I think... I'm not sure why. I'm not sure, like, if there's something imminent, but I guess there might be. I love how we're just standing there and the, and the stuff just builds like that. Hmm. You need to craft a ladder for your bunker first, uncover your trusty workbench. Wait, can we go here faster? Inspect. Uh, textile. Basic material. You use it to craft some cloths. Oh, wait. I need to grab that. Damn, if building work like that in real life, right? Your workbench is a bit rusty. Let's see what you can do. Need to refresh it. Okay. Craft, disassemble, and work magic. But it better stays hidden from the agency. Okay, so what do I need to do? Ah. Trading. You will need some metal and some wood. Start with buying eight units of metal. Okay, so where do I do that? I do that here, I guess. Uh, trade. He might. He can be a little bit faster. Trade. So it's time for some trading. Make an order, collect it in two hours. That's how it should work. Okay, so I live here and I want to trade with Sergei, I guess. And I want to get eight units of metal. Let's see, eight. Trade. Okay, so now we have new places. This is your mutual trust level with this neighbor, level two. Every time you level up your trust, you get access to more and better offers. You may also unlock more traders this way via neighbor's recommendation. Okay. Now we wait for two hours. Uh, go to the forest and find some wood. Let's see, go to the forest. I love the UI of this game. Also a weirdly relevant game, considering everything going on in the US right now. Yeah, I think this game is more like for a, um, uh, like, you know, like a nuclear apocalypse, something like that, but... I see a point. All right, wood, uh, cut some logs. These are some big logs, though. Oh, we, we just grabbed them like that? Okay. Traps area? Okay, we don't want that. Oh, wait, we have another log here, though. Let's grab that. We can't repair this for now, so we're just gonna go here. Okay. Let's grab this. Alright, so I think we're done. Go back home. So I think we do that... Here. Oh man, this fly! You guys see it? I really want to like smack it on my hand, but I don't think I'm going to be fast enough. Alright, let's go back home. Okay, we still have 20, 23 seconds. But I guess we also have to disassemble our logs. Let's quickly go here. Uh, let's see, craft. Disassemble. I think that's one, so let's disassemble another one. Let's do another one. missed it. Okay, you got mail. Receive your medal. Okay, so we got 15 wood. Need Twitch hit gay show. Gay versus fly. Oh no, I don't want to, I don't want to trade. Ne oh wait, actually I do. Never mind. I did. Yeah, it's kind of like um, man versus bee on Netflix, but then, you know, it's on Twitch. All right, now we can upgrade our workbench. Also, Ren's working on it. How are you doing? 
Um, do I need to inspect it for that? No. I think I need to craft. Oh wait, welcome to level one. Yeah, so we can upgrade it to level two. Oh, I hate. Oh, I absolutely hated that sound effect. That that like you know cutting or like saw sound effect. That was like the worst sound ever. Okay, so we've done that. Now we can build a ladder. Let's craft that. Oh, wait, we also need to rest for a little while. My stamina is almost out. Okay. Time to place a ladder to go down into my bunker. Okay, so how do I place that? Wait, shouldn't it be like underneath the carpet or... No, I guess not. Okay, then we're going to put it here. Is it going to do that now? Or oh, yeah, he is. Okay. Squash just fly announcer. Gatality. Okay, so now I can go down. You need lamps for your bunker. You need glass to make them. Let's disassemble something at the workbench. Wait, do I have something to disassemble? Left alt plus LMB to quickly grab. What can I disassemble, though? It's not a good time for- wait, it's not a good time to open this? There's nothing in there? Oh wait, I have some glasses that I can disassemble. Okay, wait, let's grab them. It's so dark. Alright, let's- we have one glass. So let's disassemble that glass at the workbench. I have no idea how we're gonna do that, but... Mr. Prepper can learn new recipes by disassembling items. Oh, let's see. Wall lamp. Perfect. Let's craft that. Okay, so we have one wall lamp, I guess. Yep, there it is. Now we can hang that up. Uh, let's hang it, like, in the middle, I guess. So we have some light throughout the entire thing. Look at that tractor. Also, I love the lighting effects. It looks really cool. But alright, how are you? I'm doing I'm doing relatively good, yeah. I had an amazing weekend with the uh, Twitch Leather Pride events. Um So yeah, after that I, I was I was yeah, I was definitely feeling good. I had a good time. I hope you guys did as well. Alright, let's get some sleepies. Month one. Preparation start. Is the audio better, by the way, Chad? Because I can't make it any louder, sadly. Okay. The agent will come soon. You need to hide or grab suspicious items and open the door for him. Okay, so how... Let's see. Cover this up. I think I need to cover up the... Um, workbench as well. I will check the contents of the room. This is standard procedure. Wait, let's cover up the workbench as well. Oh no, not the crab. Hmm. Oh, maybe I do want to grab it. I don't know. Okay. Be quick because the timer is running out. You see the fly? It's on my face. It's on my face. It's on my face. On the previous government, we... Oh wait. We need separate warrant for every inspection. This was detrimental. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Stop it! Oh, it's... Keep one's homes tidy on the previous... Oh, wait. I don't think he will find anything here. So what is he expecting to find, though? It's... Does he have to do that for, like, everyone? That's so... That's so... That's so... Alright, inspection result. Essential items lacking none. Suspicious items. Wait, what did he find? Too many escape plan. Too many any barrel. Okay, so he doesn't like that. Suspicion level 72%. Next visit for one. That's in two days, I think. Wait, in two days? 
Hmm. Oh my, that was close. I have to be more careful. Place the workbench in your bunker. Okay, wait, wait. Do I need to uh, uncover? There we go. Now we can go down. All right, let's place the workbench in the bunker. Let's put it here in the corner. Hello? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Um... I didn't even have time for breakfast. Maybe I should cook something. Oh yeah, maybe I should. Cook. Um, I'm expecting the harness tomorrow. The gloves will come in before the 30th, apparently. Nice. I just got my gear today, which is why I'm wearing my, my shirt today. I just add some raw ingredients together, apply some heat, and voila, food. Cooking makes your food richer. Oh, wait, do I have anything though? Do I have any raw ingredients? I don't think I do. Try to start with a soup or a smoothie. Huh. Not a good time for that. Wait, open that. Let's first open this because I don't know if I have anything. We got carrots, so let's take carrots. Oh, I, no, I don't want to take everything. Let's just make a soup, you know? Let's just make a soup. It's quick, it's easy, and I'm sure it's going to be fine. So let's take one. Like that, then we're gonna make a soup. Oh wait, did I just put it down? Oh, I didn't want to put it down, I wanted to grab it. Okay, I think we just eat this soup then. There we go. Everything is in place, time for my ultimate plan. Check your journal. Okay, my journal. Okay, I can have gear. Let's see. I should start with checking my ultimate plan. Okay, what is the ultimate plan, though? Is that this? Oh, the ultimate plan, of course. Don't forget about the items the agent didn't like. Yeah, I mean, I have two days, so I can, I can leave them up now. But I have two days, and then next time I need to hide them. Um, establish a food source. Grow some plants in my bunker. Okay. I need a food store. It's time to kick off my underground plantation. <laughs> the agent would not be happy to see that. To make your basic underground farm, you will need five times room soil. Can be crafted in the workbench. Five times seed bags. You may find some in your home. Seeds can also be bought in trade. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I have some seed bags in my home. Oh, wait, did I open it? Basic bait. Okay, for traps. I don't want that. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Maybe there's something here. What is this? Money. Okay. Um. Gasoline. What do we have in here? Nothing. Okay. So maybe I don't have seed bags. I do need to craft something though, so let's go here. I need to craft soil patches. And I needed to have five. Oh, I hate this sound effect. The sawing sound effect? I, I don't know why, but I really hate it. Okay, also I need to, I think I need to order, um, let's see, trade. I think I need to order some seed pack patches because I don't have it. Ouch. Yeah, you guys hate it too. It's such a bad... It's such... It's like the worst sound effect ever. One ladder. Okay, take all. Can I... Can I check it out? Read. Dear neighbor, do you like flowers, herbs, and plants in general? Are you having trouble making friends in a town? Are you tired of urban life and sad man in suits visiting your home? Do you enjoy nature? If any of this is true, you... Is any, any of this is true to you, and I'm sure it is, please come to the forest during the day. You might meet someone friendly, the local herbalist. Jordy's next job won't be a common... I mean, I don't necessarily hate the sound of, like, sawing, I guess, but I just hate it in this game for some reason. <laughs> 
Alright, let's go to the forest. I'm kind of curious what this friendly person is going to give us or tell us. Hello, friendly person. Where are you? Into the woods. Wait, can I can I grab some berries? Yeah, there's no one here, so I think I need to go deeper into the woods. I guess. Wait, do we have to load everything? Hello, deer. Another deer. But no, no people though. Um, hey, the tour. How are you doing? Work one in. I missed the giveaway yesterday. Oh, you did. We can always watch the vault if you if you want to. Wait, further into the woods? Okay, I guess we're going to have to go further into the woods because it is daytime. So, I mean, technically it should be now. I reckon. Was this just... No, 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 it's not the same. Oh, that fly is, is driving me nuts. Wait, what is this? Oh wait, there's someone there. I wanna I wanna swat it. It's driving me nuts. It's fine, nothing like living in the moment. I have nothing to swat it with. Ah Hello? Ah Wait, I can't do anything. Wait, wait, do I need to do something? I can't do anything. It just says R. Oh. Go to the forest in the data. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, fudge. I wasn't hiding. Just picking some berries. Bob, are you okay? Wait, is it Bob? Am I Bob? Hello, Buttercup. I knew you would come. You seem like a strong and capable young lad. It's been a while since anyone called me young. And you are... Oh, my manners. My name is Jenny. I'm the one who sent you the letter. Sorry for the secrecy, but one cannot be too cautious these days. You can usually meet me here around this time. I'm a herbalist. Your, you, your contact regarding all plant matters, you could say. People call me Prepper. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, just Jenny, please. And let me get to the point. I could use your help. See, I have this cozy cabin in the woods, but I can't get there now. There's a really vicious wolf hanging around constantly. I've tried everything. I didn't fall for my package of poisonous herbs inside a delicious sausage. Could you get rid of it for me? A wolf and a cabin in the woods. Is it red hood and basket required for this mission? You look lovely and bright red, but I'm not the fashion police. Just help me so I won't have to explain big ears and teeth to anyone. In return, you can take anything you want from the materials left in the cabin. I need to do some resupply soon anyway. And once I have my cabin back, we could trade with each other. Do we have a deal? Mm. We'll do. We do. I'll deal with the wolf. Hello. You hear that, Bob? We have our cabin back. Wait, who's Bob? I guess how am I going to deal with this wolf, though? I got a... What is that? A shovel? Jenny has asked me to kill the wolf standing in the way of her cabin. I would need to fix the ropeway to get to him. It will also be nice not to fight the beast empty-handed. Yeah, because I don't have any gear. Um, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to go back. Bob is probably the plant. Oh, yeah. Do you think so? Oh, yeah. The plant, I think, is called Bob. Oh, so do you give names to all your plants? Um, Sweetie, I'm a herbalist. I pick plants, dry them, chop them, cook them, squeeze them, burn them, etc. So, no, I don't give names to all my plants. Okay, so how is Bob special? Well, Bob is a friend. Please be kind to him. He's sensitive and has good memory. Okay, so nice to meet you, Bob. He's pleased too. Don't mess it up. All right, I'll do my best. Okay, so what can we grab here? We can grab some... We can grab this wood. Uh, so I guess we're going to have to go back home. And I'm guessing I'm going to have to build something to kill that wolf. So let's go back. Wait, can I just go back home from here? 
I've prepared a ropeway in the forest, so I need to find something that I can do that with. Not sure what yet, but I, I'm gonna have to find something. Okay, so I could technically go home from here. Um, let's do that because I don't think I need to. I don't think I need too much wood. All right, let's see. Oh, wait, this is way faster. All right, let's go craft something. Baseball bat. For that, we would need more wood. Okay, so probably I should have grabbed more wood. Ladder, wardrobe. Okay, so wait, I have my wood though. Craft. How much wood do I need? Oh, I need five. Perfect. So I can craft that baseball bat. What time is it? 8.42. All right. So I got that. How would I craft rope though? It's a book which contains wood. Um, do I have any rope? I don't think I do. But let's trade, maybe. Let's trade with Sergei. Let's see what he has. Wooden pallets, small boxes. Okay, what does Nancy have? Nothing. What is this? Carrot seed. Oh wait, so this is a seed package. Okay, so we can get that. Uh, let's buy, let's buy two of those. So we can have some carrots. Okay, that's gonna take a minute. You need to distract the wolf. As a furry, I've heard that a fox in knee six tends to help. A fox in knee six. What does this button do? Oh wait, customize? I can customize this. Oh, okay, so we can customize our bunker as well, so it can be like a little bit nicer than this grungy wall. Okay, let's go with this green one. I like that. Oh, knee socks! Oh, there we go. Alright, so I need to lay down my soil patches. I'm not sure where though. I don't think I'm going to do that here, so maybe I'll need to have to build another room. Can I move this one? Wait, no, no, no. I kind of want to have it next to me, but I guess that's not going to work. Okay, so let's build one like this. Oh, but then I probably also have to build another ladder to do that. We got another... Wait, who's that? I remember we used to enjoy gondola lift rides through the forest on sunny Sundays before the plague. Somebody should bring it, uh, the lift back to life. Okay. Ah, oh, my, my, my seed packets are here. Uh, let's take them all. Perfect. Thank you. Right, let's continue to build. And then I think we need to go get some sleep. Because it's getting late. I like to go for bed for a short nap. Right, I think we just go get some sleep in general. Everything slowed down and I don't feel prepared enough. You should go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, let's go to sleep. My preparedness is really low. So far, I guess I like the concept of the game. Um. Yeah, I think I think so. I think what we do. All right. So wait, do we have? Yeah. So we have an, another inspection on the fourth. So that's in in two days. So today we're fine. Today I don't have to worry about like another inspection. I like the concept of the game so far. I think the idea is that you build out your bunker and that your bunker is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, of course. All 
All right, let's eat something. Um, let's see. Do we have vegetable soup? We need carrot, beet, cabbage, and water. Two carrots, one beet, two cabbage, one water. Okay, let's see what we have in our fridge. Okay, let's separate these. Two carrots. Um, two cabbage. One beet. And then we need to grab water. Okay, so now we can cook vegetable soup. Hey, Miles, welcome back. Hello, hello. Let's really use a snack. Well, I mean, I got vegetable soup, so let's eat that. Uh, and then let's see what else do we have in the fridge, because I think I need to eat some more. We have an energy drink. I got some soup. Let's just let's just leave it like this for now. Um, I want to build another ladder, so we need to have more metal. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to buy that because I don't think I can really. I don't think I can just easily get more metal. One metal, one plastic. Are these full? They're not full. Okay, wait. Cookies box. Wait, what is this? Blue pots, safe quantity, one or two. All items of the category. Are two metal. I guess I guess we'll just have to buy some metal. I don't think I can just get some any other way. If I can, that is. She doesn't have any. Oh crap! I don't think they have any metal that I can get. I only got fourteen dollars, so I'm not sure if I should buy like a whole lot. This is low. How can I make it higher, though? I could really use some chocolate, to be honest. Chocolate? Don't you have any in, in, in your home? Can't you grab yourself some chocolate? Okay, so we... Oh, wait, we had some seeds. I just bought some seeds, and we just have some seeds right here. Okay, how do I fix my preparedness? Let's just take a nap real quick, because I think that's what I need. So let's just grab a quick nap. Which hopefully also increases my preparedness again. I don't have any chocolate. Oh, heck. What is this? Some boxes. I ate all my chocolate. Oh, you can't even share. That's a bummer. Maybe it was a bad idea that I was making this, this room here. Maybe I should have just built it. Can we disassemble the good source for materials? Grab. 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 Let's grab this one here as well. Okay, let's disassemble all of those. Oh wait, actually, no, no, no. Let's take another glass. Disassemble that as well. Oh, I want chocolate too. <laughs> Everyone wants the chocolate. Okay, let's disassemble this glass and let's disassemble all of these as well. I want to disassemble these as well. So now we can build a ladder. Ah. Right. And I want to build a lamp as well. Uh, a wall lamp.
Hello? Is this thing working? Hello? Am I am I back? We have sound. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so <laughs> so because I wanted to try, but I guess I didn't succeed in that nonetheless. But I wanted to try um, and see if I could make sure that I wasn't going to start like a new stream. I wanted to make sure that I was within the disconnection protection thingy. Um, so I figured, you know what, let's just quickly go live from my phone because then maybe it keeps the stream going. Um, and, you know, maybe that works, but I guess I guess I was I guess it didn't work anyway. I think you just started a new one. Yeah, most likely I did that. Uh, but it's kind of weird that I didn't have any audio because I did, you know, uh, the, the app asked like, hey, do you want do you want to give permission to use your microphone? I was like, yeah, of course I do. Um, but then it didn't really just like did anything. Oh man, the fly is still here. Also, a Discord message stream started. Oh wait, a Discord message stream? Oh, like the, like on Discord? I can hear Jordy again, but that's so weird because I was I wanted to see if I could maybe do like a live stream from like TwitchCon or something like that as well. Um, but like if I can't use my microphone, then that is kind of like an issue. So um, I need to I need to figure out why that is not working. I mean, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to do a live stream in general, like in any way, but I want to make sure that I can if I want to. Uh, so it's very weird that I didn't have any audio because I did give permission to use my microphone. So there's that um so yeah but okay we're back um it should work i guess yeah let me quickly check the uh, the 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 settings yeah i did give it i did give it permission uh, you can't see that but i did give it permission to use my microphone so it's kind of weird that it didn't do that weird weird was that right? Did you try to say everything will be okay in five minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was well. I was trying to say something like I'm gonna be back in five minutes. Like I'm gonna be back time in five minutes because I had to reboot my PC and then everything had to load and you know those kind of things. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, I, that was kind of a bummer that the game sort of crashed. I don't know why that happened. Um, we're gonna see if it saved anything though. I kind of hope it did. If it didn't save anything, then I feel that. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see if it saved anything. Because if not, then, um, well, that would be annoying. That would be annoying. But I guess I have to download, like, my stream now tomorrow. I'm going to have to download those those parts. Uh, and I'm going to try to uh, merge them together. Because I, I hate it that I have to upload, like, three different ways of doing that. So... Oh yeah, I need to. Yeah, those things don't work. Hang on, give me a second because I need to. I need to start like my my lamp and my tools and all those kind of things. I haven't started anything yet. I just started the stream again, so I need to start up like Steam and and all those kind of things. I need to start up my my bot for all the effects. The fly is still here. All right, so the lamp is back. The bot is back, but it's connecting still. Okay. Um, okay, I think we should be good. We've got music. I just need to log back into Steam. The fly thinks you're hot. Well, I think the fly is annoying. So, you know, there's that. He wants to be with you. I mean, he's it's okay if he wants to be with me. He can just sit here on the bed or even on the side of my desk. Or even if he wants to be very close, he can sit like on top of my webcam, like right over there. I wouldn't mind that as long as he doesn't start walking on my face. Uh, all right. Logging back into Steam. I really hope the game's saved. If not, then I'm going to call it there for that game for now. Because I didn't hate it, but like, I don't want to do all of that all over again. Also, I'm terribly sorry for that. That, you know, um cut out that we uh, that the game crashed and the my PC crashed as well. Also weird thing, I couldn't see the blue screen message because it was like all big and like, you know, stretched out. So I couldn't see what the issue was. So I hope it's nothing big or major or anything like that. And also it was kind of weird that my PC didn't want to be didn't want to boot up again after after it. Like it's it's it booted for a couple of times and I was like it did like the 
you know, the spinning of the fans and then they kind of died again and then it spun up again and then it died again and then it spun up again and then it died again and then it spun up again and then it worked. So yeah. You can use the app blue screen view. Wait, what does that do? You can't do anything about it, so don't be sorry. I yeah, I know, I know. It's just it's just annoying. You're not a streamer unless you have technical problems. I'm yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Well, I guess that's true. I'm a little bit hesitant to play that game again now, though, but... Well, let's hope that it's not gonna happen again. Um... We did get some achievements, though, so that's nice. Oh, man, I can see the fly. I want to use, like, a sock or something and, and swat at it, but it's, like, on my light, so I don't want to, like, hit my light and make that go, like, you know, bad. I do want to swat at the fly, though, because it's so annoying. It's right there. Wait, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna grab my sock. Stay there. Fly. I'm gonna grab my sock. Oh, I think I missed. Crap, I think I missed it. All right. yeah, that's not gonna work. I think I missed it. And now I'm sockless, so now I need to... Now I need to, you know, put that back on. Hey, Giz, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm quickly... Making my feet not naked again. I'm sorry it rained. Sometimes you can't control things, so don't be sorry. <laughs> Listen, that, that would literally be something that I would say. Oh yeah, I'm sorry the weather is bad. Honestly, that would honestly be something that I would say. Like if I would meet up with someone, like let's say, you know, let's say I invite, you know, someone over to come hang out with me and the weather would be bad. I would be like, oh man, I'm so sorry that the weather is bad. Because I would feel like, you know, they might hate it that the weather is bad, even though, of course, like you said, it's not really as if I was like, okay, let's order some weather today. Oh, crap, sunshine is like 100 bucks. Yeah, I don't have that. Oh, wait, rain is 50. Yeah, I don't like rain, but let's just go with rain because that's only 50 bucks and sunshine is 100 and I can't afford that right now. So let's go with that. <laughs> Imagine if that is how it worked. Imagine if you like order... Um, Order the weather. You need the salt gun? I kind of do, yeah, because it's not the first time that a fly has been bugging me. Though I hope that, you know, me swatting at it and almost killing it, I hope that it maybe got scared and is now staying in the back of the room. Okay, let's let's see how far the game saved. Uh, also, what is my category? Is it still just chatting? Yeah, it is. Jordan is a weather witch, confirmed. C -d -d -d. Also, does anyone... Do you want to keep the current display settings? Yes, keep. No, back to default. I think yes. Um, what are my graphic settings? Yeah, let's keep these. I think they're fine. Continue. Continue. Uh, does anyone happen to know day three? Anyone happen to know if there's an easy way for me to merge three big video files? Like, does anyone have like an app that I can use for that? Or does anyone know an app that I can use for that? All I want to do is I want to, I have three video files or I have multiple video files. Let's just leave it at that. I have multiple video files. I want to merge them into one file, but they are big. They're like, you know, like, like my, I, I download my stream. So they're like, you know, pretty big. So I want to merge them all into one file and then I have that one file uploaded. The only way, the way that I do that now is I, I import them to my video editing software, you know, put them together behind each other and then I render them. That's it. But it's not necessarily the bestest way of doing things. Okay, so it's... I think it, we're back at the start of the day. So that's kind of annoying. But it's not the worst. iMovie on your iPhone. I don't have them on my iPhone, though. Because I download them on my PC. Okay, let's just eat some soup. Because I don't feel like making something again. 
All right, let's grab, let's grab some of these. Grab, grab, grab. Let's grab a light bulb. Let's try that again. That's the way I would do it. Wait, like the, the rendering thing? Yeah, but the, the downside is that it's not really fast. But that's the issue. Hey Peter, is this Sims 5? No, it's not actually Sims 5. Uh, but I see I see what you mean. Although if this was Sims 5, then I think they went a step back. Alright, let's put this here again. So this is what we did, I think, the last time, and then it crashed the game. So let's hope it's not gonna happen again. Or it crashed my PC, I should say. Sims 5 confirmed. Listen, I don't work for EA anymore, so I don't I don't know these things anymore. So don't ask me. Don't ask me. I don't know. Okay, so now I can plant these soil patches. Let's see. Put one here. No, no, no wait, wait, no. Put one here. Oh, right, already had Sims kind of game on Commodore 64 that looks like this. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay, so now we can plant our carrots. I think. Wait, how do I do this? Separate into one and one. Okay. Put it into a patch of soil to grow some carrots. Seeds only. Okay, so plants. Then here as well. Seeds only. We got these. So plants. So we got some carrots. I need water. Okay, so I need to get some water first. All right, let's go here. Little computer people. That is so cute. I don't know for sure if it was Rare Wright's uh, game idea or the game that gave him the idea for Sims. Yeah, I don't know either, but that, that sounds fun. Little, little people. That sounds very cute. All right, I want to get one more carrot and then I want to get two more beets. And then I'm going to get some water. Uh, five should be enough. Hey, Sin. Hello. How are you doing? I'm in gear. Yeah, I am. You want to see my boots? I was showing them off earlier. All right, so we got one more carrots. Um, let's see. I want to plant my carrots. Yeah, then I want to separate these. I want to plant them here. And here. All right, and then we're going to water everything. Plants need water and light to grow. You can take some water from a sink. Keep your farm room well lit. More light is faster growth. Oh, okay. That's good to know. So let's water them. Uh, and then I need to make another lamp, I guess. So yeah, these are in the dark. So let's grab another glass. Make another lamp. I thought for a second you were saying boobs. Wait, am I saying it very weird, chat? Am I saying boots weird? Uh, let's see. Disassemble this glass. All right, and then we want to make another wall lamp. And we're going to place that. Yeah. Hmm. Food source established. I'll check my plan again. In prologue, ways of upgrading your farm are limited, which makes survival very challenging in the long run. In the full version, you will gain access to better, more efficient plants. More tools to make your plants grow faster. And more ways of, of obtaining water and electricity. Okay, so yeah, so this is just like a like a sort of beginner game. Like a free game, basically. Um, but if I like this, I definitely want to see if I can get the full version because that is like on sale for Steam, like in the Steam sale now as well, so... But I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, so that's why I'm playing this. How can I escape? 
Car, plane, rocket? No, that's just crazy. One inspiration. Make a plan. Run, prep, run. Okay, so wait. I need to make something so I can't do that. I need to do some more planning. How can I escape? I need to find some inspiration. Find inspiration for your ultimate escape plan. Okay, let's use the PC maybe? Or not? Let's also take a nap. Is this a dungeon builder simulator? No, it's a... Um, it's kind of like a... Like this guy's a prepper. He's called Mr. Prepper. That's also the name of the game. And he's prepping for like, you know, a bad case scenario, I guess. So he's building like a bunker. Which he has to keep secret because the, the government can't know about it. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what I do now. I haven't come up with a good escape plan yet. I need to find some inspiration and make some more planning. Okay, so how do I find inspiration? Shouldn't you move the ultimate plan? No, I can just hide it. I can just turn it around. Once the uh, once the guy is coming. So I, yeah, let's just do that now. But I don't need to hide it. Yeah, yeah, a bunker he has to keep secret. That's a dungeon. <laughs> but he's not doing anything like, you know, sexy there. I guess, or anything dungeon dungeony. He's he's making plants. <laughs> I do feel that I need to hide these though. Because I don't think that he like the the guy liked that I had these uh, containers. So maybe I should grab them and put them down here as well if I can. Am I allowed to have these though? Wait. Save quantity 1 of 0. Or I am in category barrel. Okay, so one. Okay, so I need to hide the oil one as well. Okay, let's put those down here and here. Oh, wait, here and here. So I have one, and that was fine. One is okay. One is allowed. I'm not allowed to have more, though. Right, how are my plans doing? I think they're doing okay. Happy they fit in your pocket. Jokes aside, only been watching for a few minutes, but this seems like a nice chill game. Might be interested, to be honest. Yeah, so this is the free version. This is called Mr. Prepper Prologue. Um, oh, you can't see that, but this is called Mr. Prepper Prologue. You can download this on Steam for free, and it's basically the main game, but it lacks a lot of functionality. So, like, you can do things, and you can, you know, continue to grow, and you can basically play the game. But it does lack a lot of functionality and like it does lack a lot of options. But basically this, I, I downloaded this for free because I was like, I want to see if I like this game or not. Um, and if I do, I might want to get like, you know, the full version with all the features inside of it. So I really like that they have like a free version to sort of try out. And then if you like it, then you can get the full game. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how we can find more in, how we can find like more inspiration. Like, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Can I read, like, a book? No. If it's not crashing all the time. Yeah, true. Yeah, so we just had a crash, which kind of, you know, puts me on edge a little bit. But, you know, it's I'm sure it's going to be fine. I hope. How do I get more inspiration, I wonder? Um... Repair the rope way in the fort. I also don't know how I need to make... Let's see. Bunk is somewhere to sleep. Ladder, wooden box, wardrobe. Decorative. Ah. Preparedness is low. I also don't know exactly how I can fix my preparedness. Maybe I should just go get some sleep. Because I don't really know what else I can do for this day. Um, so let's cover this. Ah. And let's get some... Oh, wait, I can't sleep yet because it's not dark, I think. Maybe I need to turn on the radio. Maybe that will give me inspiration. Or, you know, I can't turn it on. Okay, I can't turn it on, never mind. Want to check the internet? That's what I thought as well, yeah, but I can only inspect and grab it. Also, I love these I love these lens flares, they're so cool. 
If we go lower and the sun is behind the house, then they're gone. See, that's super cool. I love that. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Like, maybe I can just check the internet. But I think in this world, the internet is very... Um... um uh, like, I'm sure they would monitor my internet usage. What do we have? Bait for traps? Oh, yeah, there wasn't really anything in here, I think, that I could use. Okay, now we can sleep. So let's do some sleepies. And then tomorrow we're going to get another inspection, but I think we should be fine. Since I was hiding all the things that they didn't like. The game is on sale. I know, yeah, I know. It's in the Steam sale. I know that. That's why I wanted to try it out now. Would be nice to eat something. All right. How? Do, what time is the uh, the annoying guy coming over? Also, how are my plans doing? Oh, look at that. They're actually doing quite well, I guess. We already have some, some results, I think. Is that the guy? Oh, wait, that's the mailman, I think. Here, there, here, somewhere there. Let's check what we have. And maybe we can talk to the mailman as well. These days, many people in the town just look at me empty-eyed when I bring them mail. People just used to be more polite and respect the postal workers more. What can I say, dude? What can I say? Wait, what is this? A rocket photo? Okay, I'll take I'll take that. We have an inspection protocol. And we have a Minuteman's letter. Alright, let's take all. I'm starving. Oh yeah, I need to eat something. Let's make another vegetable soup, I guess. So we're going to take... Two carrots. A rotten... Oh, food actually rots. Okay, keeping food in the fridge makes it last longer. Okay, that's good to know. I'm going to take two... Cabbages. And we're going to take one beet. And then we're going to take some water. Then we're going to cook something. So we're going to make... Wait, did I get water? And I can't get more water? What is up with that? Okay, I don't think I can get more water. I think slow down. I don't feel prepared enough. Oh, crap. Okay, wait. Let's just quickly eat energy drink. Separate. I want to get one. Oh, crap, I fainted. We're unconscious for 21 hours and 46 minutes. Crap, I think I missed my inspection, I guess. Most likely. Did I miss my inspection? I think I must have. Reload one of your last 30 days after you faint four times. Okay, can I now get water again. Still not ready. What is up with that? Okay, then I'm just gonna eat my, um... I don't have water. I don't have beets. Wait, my beets were rotten as well then, I guess? Let's put this in the fridge. Let's just eat a soup. There we go. I don't know why my water is like not ready all the time. Okay, let's uncover this. And can I throw this in the trash? I'm not sure yet what I think of the game. I don't I don't necessarily dislike it. I'm also not necessarily sure if I love it. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what I think of it just yet. Let's see, rocket poster, can I like hang that up somewhere? The rocket. Pretty cool. 
Funny, this surprisingly makes sense. I have the feeling I could actually pull this off. I will need some planning though. Oh, wait, maybe I can actually use this. Let's see, turn this. Maybe I can use the rocket as inspiration. All right. Inspiration. Ultimate rocket plan phase 1, 50 stone, 20 metal, 10 glass. Okay. <laughs> I love how when it's like this, there's clearly something sticking out from the bottom. And then when he turns it around, it's n nothing sticking out. That's perfect. I love that. Also, we had a letter. Let's see. Inspection protocol. Uh, the most suspicious, more suspicious. The rating is up to your judgment, but you should pay attention to the lack of certain items or access the raw relative to the standard. Next visit to be conducted in seven, one to seven day intervals, depending on the suspicion level. Okay. Uh, and we had another letter. Dear Mr. Prepper, you don't know me, but your ambitions have caught my eye. You are an interesting person, Mr. Prepper, and there are not many interesting people in the town these days. I know that your little road trip didn't go well. Too bad. But if I may suggest something, go big and don't stick to land route only. I'm attaching something you may find useful. It's a tried and tested design. It might seem crazy at first glance, but Prepper, I know you can do it. And don't be afraid. Your secrets are safe with me. And expect more fan mail from me soon. Yours truly, the Minuteman. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know who this guy is, but he does seem helpful. Perhaps he has more interested in items to share. Maybe he's willing to trade. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's see if we can go check out our, our vegetables. Maybe they're ready to harvest. What do you guys think of the game, chat? Do you guys like it so far? Or do you guys like are curious about it? Like, what do you think? Oh man, we get so many, um, so such good harvest from this. Nice. All right, perfect. I'm curious, and I like the music as well. I'm curious about it. Oh wait, I wanted to... See, deposit it all, there we go. Can I grab some water already? There we go. Okay, so now... I can take one, but I also need to separate this into... One... Cabbage, we need two... Wait, actually, hang on. Can we can we cook something that carrot soup? Five carrots. Okay, let's do that. I have I have a ton of carrots anyway, so let's separate these. We need three more. Let's make some carrot soup. And then let's eat that. Perfect. Yeah, the music is nice here. I agree. The music is kind of nice. Also, I love the icon for the journal. And the fact that he has gear. Um... Maybe I can check out the, uh, the woods again. Bless the president. I wonder if I can do something with this thing. But I don't think I can repair it just yet. One lever. Okay, clearly I don't have a lever. Roadway pillar. Uh, let's grab some of these and then we can we can put them in our fridge when we get home before they spoil again um 
Um, I think we need to go even further into the woods. I guess, because I don't know where the cabin is that I need to um, clear out. Stupid bug. I don't think it's here, though. Didn't the cooking say something about blueberries? Might be worth looking into. Oh yeah, maybe. And then I can just grab a couple. Bugs keep bugging you. I know, yeah, it's so annoying. All right, can I go deeper into the woods? Because I have no idea where this, uh, this cabin is. Oh, I don't think I can go deeper into the woods. Interesting. Because I don't see anything that resembles a cabin. Okay, wait, let's go back. Where's level one, two? I can't wait. Let me grab this wood, though, because I might be able to use that later. Nice fly snuck into chat. That would be annoying. Well, if it did, though, can can the fly maybe leave? Can someone ban the fly? <laughs> can a moderator please ban this fly and then it can go go away? I don't want it here. <laughs> right, let's grab this log as well. Yeah, I have no idea where this cabin is. Hello, deer. So many deer. So cute. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. So there is a limit to what I can carry. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't realize that, though. Oh, left control to fast forward. Oh, there we go. That makes things a lot quicker. Yeah, I don't think the cabin is here either, so... Yeah, I don't know. I wonder where this cabin is. But, okay, let's go back home. Because I can't go really anywhere else. Alright, let's disassemble my wood. And let's disassemble another wood. Alright, so we got some wood now that we can use for something, I guess. We got a lot of wood, we got some textile, some ground, and a lot of money. Or, well, not a lot of money, but we got some money. Let's put our blackberries in the fridge. Or blueberries, I guess. Hey, Zhang, welcome back. Yeah, and I guess we can go get some sleep soon. This is the thing that I have with this game. Repair the forest ropeway on level one, lever. Okay, so I need to find a way to make a lever. Wood, stone, metal. I need to upgrade the workbench again. So a lever. How would how would I make a lever? Simple trap. Yeah, so not true here, clearly. What was one where you met the herbalist? Wait, was that a lever? Oh there is! Oh crap. Okay, wait, let's go back. If I can though. Yeah, I picked it up. I, I thought it was a shovel, but apparently it's a lever. Okay, wait, I think the music is a little bit too loud now. Wait, let's, uh... Lower the music a little bit. Sorry, tell me, tell me off if you want to stop meddling. No, 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 it's fine. I, I just re didn't realize that was a lever. Uh, repair? I honestly didn't realize that. I really thought it was uh, something else. Okay, so now we can go back home. 
and we can check it out tomorrow, I guess. Back home. And let's get some sleep. All right. Saving, saved, perfect. Um, I think we need to eat something again. So let's go make another. Wait, do we? Can we make something with the blueberries? Let's see, carrot jam, blueberry jam. We need sugar and glass. Blueberry smoothie, six blueberries. Okay, we 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 got quite a few. So let's make some blueberries. Let's make a blueberry smoothie. We got eight. Let's grab six to make that smoothie. Wait, did the random wolf play? I didn't see it. Let's eat that. Um. Okay. Do we have... We, did we get the bats? I think we do. We do. Okay, perfect. We also have mail again, so let's check that out. And also we have a Dutch word of the day redeem. Um. So let's pause the game for a second. Wait, is it pausing when I do that? Oh, it is pausing. Okay, yeah, I was like, he still keeps moving. Okay, we got a Dutch word of the day redeem, so let's quickly go there. Um. Here we go. Let's see what a Dutch word of the day is today. Let's drum roll, please. It is... News, which in Dutch is het nieuws. It's kind of almost the same way of pronoun pronouncing it. It's only like two letters of a difference, but uh, yeah, the Dutch word of today is news, which in Dutch is het nieuws. Um, if you want to put that in the sentence, you can say, I'm buying a newspaper to read the news. I'm buying a newspaper to read the news, which in Dutch would be, ik koop een krant om het nieuws te lezen. Ik koop een krant om het nieuws te lezen. Uh, so there you have it. That's your Dutch word of the day. News in Dutch news. Yeah, it's it's basically almost the same pronunciation as well. So I can't really make it any. It's it's slightly you know like news. Of course, is a very English word. So like you know the Dutch pronunciation is basically the same, but you know slightly less English. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Your Dutch word of the day. News. Thank you so much for that redeem. Back to the game. We got another letter from the Minuteman. Um. I hope my letter finds you well. Do you feel inspired by my last gift? I would like to start a small exchange between us, if you'll agree. From time to time, I will send you a letter or a package with some useful information or an item. And I have access to some rather curious supplies and sources, trust me. However, there are some things that are hard to obtain for me, and here's what I, where I believe you, Mr. Prepper, would help me. You can deliver me things like you would trade them on the local marketplace. I'm sure you'll figure this out. As an icebreaker, I would just love, love, love to have a jar of blueberry jam. Yours truly, the Minute Man. Okay, so we need to make blueberry jam. Oh my god, did I miss my favorite part of the stream? Well, that is not news. <laughs> okay, so the Minute Man is unlocked as a trading uh, thing. Interesting. Um, okay, let's go to the woods. It's not the rubber flag, but it's the leather and BDSM flag. Which I think is also, uh, it, it looks very much like the puppy flag, same colors. Instead of the heart though, we have, uh, we have something else. Level two. All right, let's see if we can go up. All right, so we need to find another, wait, what is this? Read. Hunters Club, everything with the wilderness around Murakaville has to offer fresh game from different animals, free range and ethically shot to death. And if you want to do the hunting yourself, I offer a wide choice of traps and baits. Lavina, Lavinia, your local huntress. I'm a local hunter, interesting, I need to check out her stuff. Huntress unlocked. Okay, let's get some more blueberries because I'm sure we're going to need them later. And let's go deeper into the woods. How do you guys like my new uh, my new MX gear, by the way? How do you guys like it? I would love to see. I might want to check that out later. We have uh, Philips Hue in the living room, and I know that the color that it is, like it is like a sort of fluorescent yellow. 
Um, I'm kind of curious that if I put all my U lights in the living room on like, you know, like a specific tone of blue, I think it's going to be super shiny or like it's going to like light up basically. So I'm very curious what that's going to be, what that's going to look like. Um, oh wait, that's the same note. Okay. You are, are you prepared? I don't know. Am I prepared? Gear is awesome. Yeah, thank you. Ooh, what is this? Plastic, plastic feathers. Let's take all of them. Oh, danger that way. Okay, we don't... I'm not sure if we want that. Anything else this way? Nope. All right, so let's, let's see what danger awaits us. Do not cross. Well, we are going to cross it anyway. Might be a bad idea, but we'll see. Looks snazzy in it. Thank you. Yeah, I love the I love the entire ensemble, like with the pants and the boots and the gloves and everything. I think it looks really cool. But I'm not wearing the pants right now because, um. Oh wait, there's another lever here. Ooh, feathers, glass, bait, plastic, plastic field ration. Oh, I like to take this and the plastic as well. I might be able to use that. And the feathers, I might take those as well. I'm gonna save you in this one. Let's take this as well. The food. All right. Oh wait, there's the wolf. There's the wolf. <laughs> it doesn't look that tough. Your first fight is about to start. Click on the wolf to attack it. Hold left control to block the wolf's attacks. Or move away to dodge them. Your use your bat and fight. Good luck. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Crap, there's multiple. Oh crap, there's more. There's more of them. Okay, I got him. Is that it? Oh, there's still more. <laughs> that's it. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, I know, puppy. I, I didn't want to do that, but I had to. I had to. I had to do that. Not wearing pants, it looks so good on you. I mean, I'm wearing pants, I'm just not wearing my MX pants because they're surprisingly hot or warm. Um, so, you know, there's that. I was looking up similar gear for myself, but I'll look into it that after my trip to y'all. Ooh, nice. I bought MX gear and he's killing dogs now. I know, I didn't want to do that, but the game made me. Don't hate me, chat. The game made me do it. I didn't want to. Ooh, Luna Tuna, exotic bait, money. I'll take all of that. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Okay, now we can visit uh, Granny or in her cabin. Or Jenny, I should say. I love that you have a command for spelling your name right. Yeah, I know. I know. It happens so often and I totally get it because of my username, of course, having an I in it. So it's 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 I, it makes so much sense that people mistake my name. Um, but because I'm, I always felt bad that I had to be like, oh, just as like, you know, an FYI, you spell it like this, not like that. You know, I always felt bad. So I figured, you know, let's just make a command that automatically triggers. That way I don't have to be the bad guy and I can just let stream elements be the bad guy. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Have you seen my, my photo, by the way, chat, of my, me in my full MX outfit? Because I posted it on, on Twitter uh, and on Instagram as well. Um, like, have you guys seen that? Wait, Jenny's not here, though. Hello, Jenny. Should I just grab something here or what? Stream elements root. I know someone who still spells your name wrong. I mean, it happens like literally my, my brother-in-law, he does it still. So like, it's not necessarily very, um, it happens like all the time. I'm not sure if I should just take these. 
I mean, I guess I can. I'm not sure if it's, if it's like rude to take him though. I mean, I, I guess I'm not just going to take all of these. I'll, I'll just... I'll just be on my way again. I don't want to just take everything. I think that's rude. Oh, wait, there she is. Hello. Uh -huh. Oh, hello, Daisy. Me and Bob, thank you for defeating the big bad. I hope you didn't get hurt. Uh. Please don't call me. Ah, oh, whatever. You're welcome. And no, I'm fine. Okay, so we can now unlock... We can now trade with Jenny as well. Perfect. Uh. How did you have my little sweet home and workshop back? I like to get back to my little cooking experiments. Uh. And if my friends in the town suffer from certain sleep issues. <laughs> As a nice old lady I am, I want to help. I'm trying out various ingredients to put in a herbal tea. Huh. I've heard about the curious kind of mushrooms growing in the old mine just outside of town. Huh. Could you bring me some of those? I have a, bun a hunch they'll fit well into my new tea. Huh. Curious mushrooms from the old mine for a tea? Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? Huh. Lovely, just be careful, young lad. The mine is a dangerous place. Huh. But there's also a chance you'll meet a friendly soul there. Okay, so we got a new location we can go to. Nice. By the way, if you guys want, I can totally daisy grubber. I can totally show you the, the photo as well, because I have it on my PC, I think. I still had it. So, like, if you guys want to see it, I can totally show you. It irks me when someone spells my name wrong, so... I have a friend of mine that kept saying my real name on stream, so I changed my name and now he says the wrong name all the time. Oh, really? Yes, I, I'm in basically a habit that I always say, I always use people's usernames, uh, unless I know that they are fine with me using their real name. But if I don't know that, I always use your username, even if I know your real name, because um, I don't want to like dox people. I don't want to be like, you know, going like, um, like, for instance, I know Miles' real name, but I'm not going to say it because I don't want, you know, to dox him. And he, if he's like, hey, you can use my real name on stream, then fine, I'm just going to do that. But if he doesn't say that to me, I'm never going to, you know, use someone's real name because I don't want to, like, be... I don't want to be like, hey, Miles is secretly this and this. Or, you know, like, whoever. Like, but I saw Miles last, so I was like, I want to use him as an example, but yeah. I think it's kind of rude to do that as well, so that's why I would never do that. He knows my real name too, yeah. Yeah, and I know that you're fine with me using that, so that's why I do that. But if I knew that you weren't fine with that, then I wouldn't do that. He also knows my last name, but he never says that. Yeah, I would never say it. I have to think about it though, because I know I know it, but like now that I think about it, I'm like, wait, what is it? What is it again? Oh yeah, no, I know it. I know it again. I it, it came back. It came back. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is your last name again? But I, I, yeah, I know it again. That's how we publish his address. Wow. Wow, you guys are, you guys are, wow. <laughs> you need the full version of the game to repair that. Ah, oh, so I can't repair this anymore? That's a bummer. I think I might buy this game. I think I like it enough to play it maybe off stream as well sometimes. So I think I definitely might buy this game. So I have the full version of it. Uh, let's go home. All right, we have a lot of things. So I kind of feel like I need to store some. So let's uh, put some in the fridge. Or else I'll tell you that you live on Earth. Wait, did you just dox me and tell people that I live on Earth? <gasps> wow. Rude. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Miles. I'm kidding. I hope you know that. I'm not sure if this should... If, let's see. This is... Yeah, I think this shouldn't be refrigerated. So I can just put that in one of the other cabinets. Uh, so let's put that here. Let's put this here. I just sent a vacuum cleaner to the kitchen to clean it, but it makes so much noise. Happy it's almost done. Oh, really? So how do you do that, though? Um, like, do you like do you tell it like, hey, vacuum cleaner, please go to the kitchen? Or do you like need to send it there with an app? Or like, how does that work? I spend days with people, pups, and we still don't know our real names. Yeah, that's also a thing. Like, that's, of course, a thing like within the puppy community, I guess. But also, I guess, maybe within the furry community that... Um, you know, like, you know, a lot of people use their, like, their fursona's name or, 
um, something like, like their puppy name on like social media. Um, but that, that does mean that, you know, sometimes I know people only by their, um, like, you know, their puppy name or their, their fursona's name, and I don't know them with their real name. Which, of course, is not necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean that sometimes I'm like, oh, wait, that person is so-and-so, but I have no idea what they're actually called, like, in real life. Uh, Jordi, I love, love, love the full pattern ensemble, and those boots are doing something to me. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you, wait, you haven't seen them? I, I just showed them off, because they're, they're surprisingly big. Let, wait. Look at them, they're ginormous. They're, they're bigger than my face, than my head. They're like ginormous, but they're, they're super cool. They are very, like, you can't... They're, like, they're, they're very sturdy, though. They're very sturdy, but, like, you can't bend them. They're very, like, sort of solid. They're pretty cool. I love them. But pretty hot as well. They're super hot. Um, wait, wait, I can show you. Wait, do I still have the photo on my desktop? I think I did. Uh, I can just show it to you if you go. Wait, you know what? Let's sh let me show it to you later once we switch games. How about that? Greetings, Jordy, Jordy the Earthling. We come in peace. Wait, so are you guys not from Earth? Is that what you guys are saying? I can just pick the room from the app, but I can also ask Siri for the home part. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. I love stuff like that. Um, they are huge. I know they are really huge. And my, me, my newbie, newbie person, I didn't know that there were like these buckles on the front that I needed to, to like, you know, make loose and then also take something out of them to make the boots actually go open so I could step in. So the first time that I tried them on, I was like, Mm, these are so tight, I can't get in, even though they're size 47. And my shoe size normally is 46, and they were like, get one size bigger, but you, you, you know, you're gonna love yourself for doing that. So I did that. But I was like, man, they're so, they're so tight. I can't, you know, I can't go in. And then later I discovered that I had to undo like another step, and then they went like, you know, way bigger, and I could just slide in very easily. And I was like, oh crap, I should have known that before. <laughs> I felt like such a noob. That's what she said. <laughs> they're ginormous. They're bigger than my face. You can you can't bend them. They're super hot. That's what she said. I mean, it's true though. It's true. <sighs> Nothing goes right. I feel unprepared. Let's make some more blueberry. Um... No wait. Let's drink an energy drink. Ah, Okay, wait, maybe I should take a quick nap. I wonder how the react inspection reacts when you're walking with the bat all day. Yeah, why is he still holding that? Can I just like, oh wait, yeah, he's still holding it. Can I just go and be like, hey, don't hold that anymore? Blueprints. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, I don't know why he's still holding that. Oh, wait, Q. There we go. I would love to sniff them, to be honest. I mean, currently they sniff, like, new shoes. <laughs> I mean, they smell nice, but just like, you know, like new shoes. But I'm sure maybe tomorrow night when I'm home by myself. I mean, well, not just home, but like tomorrow night when I'm not necessarily doing anything in particular. Maybe I'm going to wear the entire outfit and just chill in the the evening all evening maybe i'm gonna wear the uh the boots as well and i'm sure they're gonna be very hot after that all right do i need to get some sleep i can get some sleep let's do that because it is getting late and i'm not really super prepared so even sleeps with it cuddling the bat and we, you can never be too prepared right Okay, so tomorrow we have... Oh, wait, today actually we have another inspection. Okay, let's make sure that I don't... Um, that I don't faint again for the inspection. 
would be nice to eat something. Yeah, so let's cover up my um, my bunker. I have no idea what time the agent is going to be here. Uh, okay, let's make another blueberry smoothie. I need to have five blueberries. I think I'm going to go to the woods today again. Um... Oh crap, I need six actually. Okay, I thought five, but it's six. Uh, let's go to the woods again today, maybe, and get some more blueberries, because I also need to make blueberry jam to send to the Minuteman. Alright, let's eat that. Alright, what time is the, uh, the inspection going to be? Because I kind of don't want to stay at home all day. Just to wait on the inspection guy, but I guess I kind of have to, so that's a little bit annoying. Let's see, because I think I, I can make some other stuff. Let's see, wall lamp. White cup. Maybe I need to buy sugar. I think I saw someone selling sugar, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, sugar, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? That is quite expensive though. I wonder how I can make sugar. How can I fix my preparedness as well? Because it's not going too well. Um, so I need to try and fix that somehow. Are you going to wear your MX gear to a BMP? Um, I'm not sure because it is surprisingly hot. Um, temperature wise. So it kind of—I guess it kind of depends on the on the weather, like what the weather is going to be like. Uh. Purple cup. How would I make? See, I need blueberry jam. Okay, wait. Can I just make that from here? Blueberry jam, which means I need sugar, glass, and 10 blueberries. Uh. Roasted boar. Oh, wait, I can make that. Roasted boar meat. Yeah, I definitely need to eat, eat something, some more. Let's see, let's cook roasted boar meat. 10 for sugar. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. Uh, let's see. Eat that. Perfect. Okay, when is this inspection guy going to come by? Because I'm not going to stick around all day just for the inspection. The agent. Yeah, so he's supposed to come by today. Hey, guys, see the fly? Oh, there it went. Bye, fly. Um... I'm not sure if I should stick around for that, though. Like, should I be here when he comes over? And if so, what time is he going to come over? Because it doesn't say that. It just says the agent. <laughs> that look on my face. <laughs> okay, screw it. I'm just going to go. Like, if he wants to inspect my home, he's just going to have to... Might have to open the door for him. Yeah, I probably do. But like, I'm sorry, if he's not gonna, you know, show up soon, then, you know. All right, so that's what, one blueberry? Um. Oh, wait, grab the blueberries. Oh, wait, that's three. Okay, wait. So that's three. That's two. That's, how many do I have now? I got eight. Okay, so I need ten. Uh, so let's go a little bit deeper into the woods. Let's grab some more. Hello, deer. Oh, man, these woods are lovely. There's so many deer. Eleven... 13. 15. Ideally, I can grab one more. 
There we go. 16, perfect. Okay, so that way I can make another blueberry smoothie when I'm back home. All right, let's go back home. He hasn't been yet. So weird. Okay, so I might want to trade... Let's see, Jenny, what does she have? She has a lot of seeds. Do you guys see that? What is that all about? Why is my lamp flickering? Like that. Huntress. Bait. Minuteman. We can't get anything for him. Maybe I just need to buy the sugar. Inspector usually comes around 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. All right. I'm clipping it, it said the bits are breeding. <laughs> the bits are breeding. <laughs> All right, so we're going to wait on that. Oh, wait, there's the inspector. Checking the contents of the room. Checking the contents of the room. Abnorm abnormalities in water usage. Wait, I'm not allowed to use water. Let's see, consumption to a day, average daily water consumption. Okay, so I think we did well. Oh wait, the next visit is at 10, 10, 1. Day 10, month 1 at 1.39. Okay, so it, apparently it shows over here as well what time he's going to come over. Okay, suspicion level is 36. So that's good. Didn't find anything suspicious other than my water usage apparently. Um. Okay, good. Good, good. Hey, look at that. We got a we got the fly clip. Alright, so we're gonna wait on that because I wanna cook that jam. Hey, Mr. Prepper, I hope you'll have good news in mail today. I do actually got some sugar, thank you. Alright, do I have glass? I think I do, so I can cook the blueberry jam. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Why your feet are something. Ta 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 ta. Ah ho ha. Da da do. Boots a booty on the voice tonight. Make my day. Ah ho ha. Ma da do. Boots a booty da da do da da do. Make my way. Make my way. Make my way. Make make my way. All right, cool. So we did that. Um, we still have some time left, but I am a little bit tired. So let's take a quick nap. We need a disco light for that song. <laughs> well, I think with the pro version of, uh, of Lumia, I can do something like that. Technically, so. Oh crap, I should also um, open up my fridge because I have a lot of blueberries that I need to put in there before they go bad. Oh, we got some money. Money, 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 money. Money. All right, let's see. What else do we have? We have a letter from the Minuteman again. Um... Hello, Mr. Prepper. How are you? I've recently taken interest in a certain fascinating topic that can also become a timely that can also become timely. However, due to regulations of our wise government, bless the president, obtaining reliable sources on this topic is challenging. But, Mr. Prepper, you might have more luck. Please deliver me a good book about nuclear warfare and its consequences. Something non-fiction. I'm sure I can make up for all the trouble. I'm not sure where to obtain unusual books these days, given the agency's pressure. I think the whole book business might have gone underground. Yours truly the minute man. Interesting, interesting. All right, so I think it's, um, yeah, can I, do I want to do something? Maybe I can plant some more seeds for now. Let's see, we have three, let's take these three. 
And let's take two of these. Let us go plant them. Can't get there. Oh wait, I need to uncover this first. One thing that I do hate is that I think once I um I think once I um Once I get the full game, I think I need to do everything again. That's kind of a bummer. But I do think I want to get the full game. I definitely think it's a fun game. Uh, yes. Is this game only preparing like in real life or will something happen someday? I actually don't know for sure. That's a good question. I don't know for sure because the main menu ha does have like a nuclear... Um, like a nuclear, like, you know, one like the mushroom cloud. So that makes me think that maybe something will happen in the future. But honestly, I don't really know. But I don't have enough water. Can I grab some more water real quick? Alright, perfect. The only downside of this game, though, is that even though there are, like, tasks that I need to do, like, you know, these over here, and I think there might be some sort of, like, a story mode, maybe, like, a little bit, I do feel that it's very, um, it's a very open game, so, like, I can just decide what I want to do. And that is something that I sometimes struggle with, because then I'm, like, I'm not sure what I need to do. And... I always hate that, because I'm like, yeah, I'm not sure what I what the game wants me to do now, and then I kind of get stuck. Uh, Alright. Let's take a quick break. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to continue with this game, or if I want to switch to The Division 2, because I definitely want to play that as well today. Um, but let's take a quick break, so I can go grab something to drink, and use the bathroom, and stuff like that. Um... Oh yeah, see, because now, you guys can't see that, but now, I can't get the book about nuclear warfare, because that's only available in the full version, so that's like a, a quest that I can't do. Um, so that, that seems like something that, you know, I need to get the full game to actually continue with this quest. So that's, that's, that's like one of those things, like one of those, um, um, limitations of this free version that, you know, I was talking about earlier. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna take a quick break, uh, grabbing something new to drink, I'm gonna use the bathroom, and then I'll be back, and we'll most likely, um, most likely continue with the Division 2. Let's, I'd say buy it. Okay, let's buy the game. Okay, you guys want... <laughs> I have a feeling people like this game. Alright, so I might buy the full version. I'm not gonna do that today, though, because I need to download that, install that, and, you know, like, with Steam and, like, streaming, that's not gonna be a good idea, because then I'm gonna lose my bitrate and all those kind of things. Um... So I'm not going to do that today, but it's good to know that you guys enjoy this game. Um, so I think I might get it. I think it's like only like seven or eight bucks, so it's not really that expensive. So that that's totally fine. Um, but I think for today, then after the break, we're we're going to continue with the division two. Um, so yeah, streaming is mostly uplifted. I know, yeah, I know, but uh, but because of my power line thingy that only has like one thing. Um, it's it's not gonna work because I've as soon as I download stuff my bitrate goes down a drain because I use a power line Ethernet. If you want to know more about it, ask Martin because he will tell you everything about it and he will tell you that I still need to drill a hole in my wall, which I can't do. But he'll he'll have like a he'll have like a PowerPoint presentation ready for you so you can see why why that is an issue and why there's like a like a bit of a thing. Uh, so you can watch that PowerPoint. And then I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to come back and then you know exactly why I can't download the game while I'm streaming. Um, so there's that. <laughs> and we're not going to drill a hole. We're not going to drill the hole, chat. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, you run the PowerPoint on stream. Oh yeah, send it to me. Yeah, just send it to me and I'll show it on stream. <laughs> I can totally show you the PowerPoint. Yes, absolutely. That's going to that's gonna be fine. All right, chat, I'm going to be right back. I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes and enjoy something to drink, uh, enjoy some music, and then I'll see you guys when I return. Be right back.
Hello. Hello, hello. Um. All right, so it's, it's, uh, I think it's a new game, new day in the game. Uh, so let's go back to the main menu. Yeah, so see, if you look at the main menu, um, there is like, you know, this big mushroom cloud in like the city. This guy, which I think is Mr. Prepper, sort of like chilling here with all his stuff stacked up. So yeah, I'm not sure if something will happen in the future or not, but you know, like the, the, the main menu sort of is hinting at maybe there will be that some something that happens. Um, so, you know, yeah, there's that. Yeah, so the full game includes room upgrades, water supply systems, power supply systems, various farm types, mining, full story and quest system, and that's only the beginning. Uh, you can see that like all over there. So all of that is in the full uh, the full game. Um, so there's way more stuff that you can do uh, in the full game, apparently. So like, you know, you, you even have like these bigger rooms. You have like all these things that you can do in like your bunker. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty interesting, pretty interesting game, I guess. Um, so yeah, I might, I might get it at some point. I want to see. Oh, I just clicked it away. I, you guys saw it, right? You, saw, you guys saw the screen. I, I just closed the uh, closed the closed that screen that said everything that is that is in it. Um. Oh wait, I was gonna show you guys the. Uh, let's see, do I still have it? I th I'm not sure if I actually deleted it or not, but I was gonna show you guys the the photo that I uh, I took in my in my gear today. I think I deleted, it, but let me go and show it on my uh, on my Twitter account. Why can't I? Oh, wait, maybe it's still. Yeah, it's still zoomed. I was like, why does it always do that? Um, so this is the. Um, this is like the full outfit. So it, it has like the pants that match with the uh, with the with the shirt, and then of course the boots. And I even have gloves that match with this entire look as well. So I'm very happy with that. It's like a big matching look. I really think it looks really cool. The only thing that I hate about this photo, I think it's a really cool photo. The only thing that I hate is that I didn't pay attention to my collar, to my necklace, and then it's like looking kind of weird like this. That's the only thing that I hate. Other than that, I think it's a really cool photo. Um, so yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it looks pretty cool and good as well, if I can say that myself. I think it looks really cool. Um, so I'm very happy with that. By the way, do you think I'm also a puppy? I don't know. I don't think I I, I don't think I know you that well enough, uh, Zhang. So I, I can't I can't say that. Now the bike. Well, I mean, one thing that I would love to get at some point, maybe, is like a helmet as well. I think they even have a helmet with like this print on it, which I think looks really cool. Um, so I kind of want to get that at some point too, but that was a little bit too expensive for now. Uh, and also, one thing that I was like thinking about is that I have no idea where I would put that. Like, where am I going to store that helmet? I already have like a bit of an issue thinking about where I'm going to store these boots, because I don't really have like a lot of closet space left. And since these boots are quite big, I'm like, yeah, where am I, where am I gonna put them? <laughs> where am I gonna store them? So yeah, that's already like a thing. And then I, like with the helmet, of course, you know, that's that's even more like a thing. So I wanted to get that at some point, but well, not for now, not for now. Um, mm -mm. Oh, yeah, I wanted to tweet out as well if someone maybe has like an idea of merging video files together. Uh, does anyone have a good method of quickly merging together two big video files without it taking a very long time to render some sometime preferably a free tool slash method Right, cool. Let's see if anyone knows them. Store them at Miles's. He won't mind, I think. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't. Um, but if you don't want to render, the input should be the same as the output. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't mind rendering, I guess, but I like, I wonder if there's like just, I just want to have like one file and then I want to have the other file put like after that. And I have no idea if it's, if it's even possible, to be honest. Like maybe it's not even possible. But like, I feel with rendering it, you do a lot of things that it doesn't necessarily have to, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure Miles won't mind if I store these boots at, at his place, but then, you know, I would have to wear them. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done wearing them. I have to drive up to Miles' place, which I think is like a two and a half, three hour drive. Then I store them there, then I go back home, and then if I want to get them again the next time, I would have to drive back up to his place, get them, go back home. So it's, it's not the most convenient way of doing that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's not the most convenient way of doing that. Um, Let's see how expensive Mr. Prepper is. I thought it was like only a couple of bucks now. Mr. Prepper. Also another game that I saw, 10 bucks. Another game that I saw that looks kind of fun. It's uh, Project Zomboid. I'm not sure if it's actually a fun game, but I'm kind of curious about that one as well. Because I saw someone... Um, I saw like a clip of that game and I was like, oh wait, that actually looks a lot of fun. Um, let's see, Project Zomboid. That also kind of definitely looks like the, the, the style of that game definitely looks like a Sims 1 game. Which I know it's not, but it kind of looks like that. Um... And that's the thing with the... Uh, oh, wait, Peter actually wants that game? I didn't know that. Interesting. And it's also on Mac, huh? Boots are made for pupping, and that is what will what will do. And one of these days, these boots are going to pup all over you. <laughs> You can also hire a container for storage. They put it before your door. You put the shoes in and they pick it up. Are you downloading? Okay, I see pixels. No, I'm not. Wait, no, I'm not downloading anything. Um, at least, no, not that I know of. No. I guess my bitrate just died. I'm not downloading anything. I just tweeted something, but like I didn't download anything. Um... But yeah, imagine that, you know, imagine that I just have a storage container that I put, that they put in front of my door and then I put the boots in and then I take it with me and then every time I want them again, they bring the storage container back and then I can grab them and then, you know, like that. It's also not necessarily the most, not the most convenient way of doing things, I guess. <laughs> uh, all right, let's switch games. Um, let's launch the uh, Ubisoft launcher. Also, Miles, I, I just saw you uh, booting up your Steam and I saw that you were playing the Mr. Prepper demo. If I can give you an advice, I would say download the prologue version of the game. That's a separate thing. It's like a separate game. Because that is the game version that I played just now and that has a little bit more things that you can do in it. I think the demo is very limited. But the prologue version has some somewhat more stuff that you can do. I would suggest get that one if you want to try out the game. Um, this pupper should probably get really get to bed now. No worries, you stay yours. No worries. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm just trying to boot it on Steam Deck. I have no idea if it is Steam Deck compatible, by the way. I mean, it might be, but I have no idea. Um, but thank you so much, uh, you stay for stopping by and have a good night's sleep. I hope you sleep well. All right, let's change the game. The Division 2. But yeah, this Mr. Prepper game, it might definitely be fun to play on stream as well at some point or, you know, sometimes. So maybe we're going to maybe I'm going to play it on Wednesday. Seeing as I didn't make a schedule for this week anyway, uh, I might play it on uh, I might play it on Wednesday. This Pepper don't want to go to bed, but tired. Isn't that a mood? <laughs> I, um, I, 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 I feel you there. I feel you there. 
Um, all right. Have I played? I, I think I've played this game before on stream. It's been a long time, though. It's been a while since I've played this game on stream. But I have played it before, I think. It's been a while since I played this game in general. Um, I haven't played this in forever. So hopefully... Um, I might be done with it very quickly, but I hope not. I hope that, you know, going to a new location in the game makes me be like, oh yeah, 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 this is fun. This is fun. AMD Snowdrop Has anyone ever played this game before? Do any of you uh, know this game or play, have played this game? Right. This is actually the first time I'm playing it with my new uh, GPU as well. So that's uh, that's going to be interesting. Right, so this is my uh, this is my agent. I think he looks kind of cute. I love the way he looks. He's very cute, I think. Um, How do I continue? Oh, here we go. Continue. It does boot, but I need some custom layouts. Stupid fly. I really hope it's not going to bother me while we're trying to sleep. Like that it's, you know, sits on our face all the time while we're trying to get some sleep. Because that would be annoying. Also, does anyone mind changing the color to purple? Because I don't hate yellow, but I think it's, uh, yeah, I, I like purple. I mean, I can do it myself. Safe area detected. Let's just do it myself. There we go. Okay. Ooh, is that dropping frames? Is that dropping frames? Maybe it's still loading. Could be that it's still loading. All right, let's go to New York. I haven't finished the entire storyline in... Oh, that is dropping frames. Oh, that is dropping massive frames. What the hell is that? Okay, wait, let's... Um... Graphics, let's lower it to high instead of ultra. Oh wait, change will be applied next time the game is started. Frame rate limit. Let's set it to 60 FPS. Let's lower some things. Mm, particle detail, high. I mean, I'm, I'm, I should totally be able to play this game at like the highest settings. Um, change will be applied next time the game is started. Okay, so I'm going to have to reboot the game. That's That's great. Why, why do graphics settings require a restart of the game? I don't get that. It doesn't make sense. That is fine. We'll, be, we'll, we'll start the game again, because why not? Huh? You know, why not? Mr. Prepper does need some custom config, but it boots without big issues on Steam Deck. Nice. Uh, hello, Ubisoft. Why can't I... Launch the game again. Hello, Ubisoft. Oh, wait, there we go. Now we can. Now we can. So that's funny because the, the main portion of this game takes place in uh, Washington, D.C. Um, but they have a... Um, they have a... Um, a DLC that it, that takes place in uh, New York City. So we're going to play that. That's why I downloaded the demo to try it out. All 
All right, let's see if this is going to work, if this is going to be better. Let's hope it is. <laughs> it is a bummer that I have to play this through, um, through Ubisoft. That is not on Steam. That's okay, though. That's not the worst, but I just prefer playing things on Steam. All right, take two. Let's hope this is going to work. I love the uh, I love the UI of this game, like the, the graphical UI. It looks pretty cool. Entering safe area. OK, take two. Chat, anyone here? Wait, wait, what's going on? Are we not live anymore? Hello? Wait, what's down here? Oh, chat is quiet. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, did, did I lose my connection or something like that? But <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right, I think this is better. Let's see, talk to pilot. Hope you're ready to go to New York. I am ready to go to New York. Yeah, let's go. You won't be able to access this character on other platforms where you don't own the Warlords of New York expansion. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. When you transfer to NYC, your group will get disbanded. You will not be able to return until the NYC campaign is complete. During the NYC campaign, some activities will be temporarily inaccessible. Definitely reach level 30. If you're playing or choose to transfer right away and boost your character, boosting will automatically complete the level 1 to 30 campaign and world tier progression. Oh, wait, do I want that though? If you're a new player, we recommend you progress at least to level 30 before transferring. Boosted character count. Okay, wait, maybe I don't want to do that. Because I am level 29. Let's see, where am I in level 29? Am I like close? Can I see that? Because maybe I need to do like one one mission in, in over here. And then when I reach level 30, maybe then I can go to the other location. Maybe that's a good idea. To the chopper! I think that's a better idea because then, yeah, I'm level 29. I'm kind of close to level 30. So once I get level 30, I should be good. Okay, so let's do that instead. So let's go to main missions. Let's do one main mission here. Which I think was already set. Um, main mission, yeah. Federal Emergency Bunker. Okay, so let's do that. I can go to this control point. I think I can fast travel here. So let's do that. So I'm going to do one mission over here and then we're going to try and go to New York because hopefully after this one mission, I will be level 30 and then I don't have to boost myself. At least that's the, that's the, that's the plan. I inventory. Oh crap, I didn't want to do that. Oh wait, F is looting things. Okay, that's good to know. I thought I was E, but it's apparently F. I need to get my uh, keybinds under control again. All right, so we have to go that way. Oh yeah, I think E and Q are my special abilities, so that's good to know. I always love the vibe of these games. Like the fact that these games take place in like a post-apocalyptic world. I always thought like that was very cool. How like, you know, cars and trucks are just abandoned in the middle of the street. Nature is taking back over. I always thought it looked super cool. Wait, I don't... No, I'm not going to do this mission. I'm sorry. I'm not doing this mission. I mean, I'm, well, wait. Is this another mission? Oh, wait. This is a side mission? Okay, I might do that one. Maybe that will also boost me to level 30. Hello? Right, let's do this mission instead. 
Let's see if that takes us to level 30 instead. How's everyone doing today, chat? Ooh, do I want this? Level 29. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, wait, compare. Equipped. Weapon damage. Headshot damage. Status effect. Okay, yeah, don't necessarily need it. Loot as junk. All right, there's enemies here. Can't wait for Saturday. Oh yeah, same, same. Very excited to see you guys again. I do already have a good suit to wear. Oh, do you want to share what you're going to wear? Or do you want to keep it a secret? Okay, so we've got several guys here. Is this a secret? Yeah, wiring some studs onto my jean vest. Nice. Is it also a secret for me, though? You also don't want to share it, like, privately? Because I'm very curious now. I mean, if you want to keep it a secret, then please do. But I'm just, I'm just very curious now. <laughs> how do I, wait, how do I V? I hold V? Okay, I was going to say, I thought it was V to get back into uh, my healing, but it is indeed V. Okay, after this, uh, after I like things are a little bit safe, can I do... Yeah, I can't go into... When things are a bit safe again, I need to change my uh, my uh, mouse settings because, wait, they are way too high. My mouse sensitivity, I mean. Ooh, miss. There we go, perfect. I wish this gun, this gun had like a zoom option. Oh, it actually does. Perfect. I was like, why doesn't this gun have a zoom? But it actually does. Where are they? Where are they? I really hope that after this mission I can boost myself to level 30. Well, I, not boost, but I can get to level 30. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Okay, cool. Let's uh, change my sensitivity a little bit. Uh, controls, mouse aim sensitivity. Let's bring that down to, I don't know, 15. Mouse sensitivity, let's bring that down to 15 as well. All right. See if that's better. Hello, three. Hello, hey Phantom Gamer, how are you doing? Welcome in, thank you for those bits, and hello. Hello to you, how are you doing? Let's bring it down a slightly further, I think. Yeah, I think that's better. Doing good, how about you? I'm doing good as well, thank you for asking. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing pretty good. Alright, so I think I need to go up here. 
Can I loot anything from back here? I don't think... Oh, wait. Here, I can loot this. Nimble knee protectors. Let's compare them to what I have. Um, Don't think they are better. So let's loot them as junk. So I can disband them or dismantle them later. Right, interacting in this game is uh, E, which I always, or F, which I always kind of hate. Because I'm so used to, I'm so used to E being like an interact button in games. Wait, he's not talking, his lips aren't moving. His lips aren't moving. Hey, you. You are awesome. Thank you for the sub. A woo trikes to bot. You are awesome. Thank you for the 23 month resub. Boop. Popping in to share this tidbit. Enjoy the games. Frinks, thank you so much for the um 23 month resub. That is so kind of you. Thank you so much. That also is a very cheeky cheeky sub. Obviously. Thank you so much for that. How are you doing? I've never played The Division before. How would you rate the game? Would you suggest it? It highly depends on, like, you know, what kind of games you like. Um, I always liked it. I haven't played it in a long time, but I always enjoyed playing The Division. Um, I'm not sure if you like games like, for instance, like Destiny, where, you know, you can loot stuff and, um, you know, you, you can, like, you know, get, like, upgrades and stuff like that, and you need to loot them. Um, and it's like, you know, basically like a live service game. If you like games like Destiny, then you will probably like The Division as well. If you don't like games like Destiny, like, you know, the type of game, I guess, that is, then maybe this is not necessarily the game for you. But I do definitely like it. It's definitely a, it's definitely a good game. I just haven't played it in, like, forever. I'm okay, just tired from work and the weekends. Oh yeah, you had like a birthday party uh, yesterday, right? I think you mentioned that. It's been a long time since I heard a cheeky cheeky for myself. Well, that was definitely cheeky cheeky, so you know, you, you deserved it. <laughs> okay, we killed the main guy. Nice, perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's loot that purple stuff. I'm currently playing Tina, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, and Orc must die. Nice. I've yet to play um, either of those games. The Tiny Tina I might like because it's uh, I, I believe it's like you know basically the same as Borderlands or like a Borderlands type game, so I might like that. Orcs must die. Not sure if that's my type of game. Yeah, and uh, it got late, plus I had to pop up for the TLP stream too, because I had to support my favorite pup. Oh, heck, thank you. It was still good seeing you yesterday, even though it was slightly late, but, you know, it was still nice to have you. Ooh, I think this is a gun case. Let's see what's inside. Um, I don't think I want that. I'm not going to use that anyway, so let's just loot that as junk. If I could have been there sooner, I would have. Yeah, no, I mean, I wasn't calling you out. I hope you know that. It's not like I was like, hey, you were late. Because as I always say, you guys are never late nor early, but you are always just as you are expected. Right on time. Because, you know, life happens and stuff like that. So, so yeah. Uh, all right. I think we got everything. So let's talk to uh, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. You really saved my ass back there. I did. I suppose thanks. Right. You're welcome. How about a nice jar of liquid gold? Wait, I honey. Know how they feed you in the White House, but a spoonful of that goodness makes everything better. I hate that his lips aren't moving. It's 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 it's, it's time very. Go to the campus. Can't stay around here anymore. It's kind of disturbing. Those hyenas constantly on my back. Okay. There we go. I was gonna say bye then. Oh, did that level us up to level 30? It did level us up to level 30. Perfect. 
Boom! All right, nice. So that means we can go to New York. Excuse me. That was a big sneeze. Biggie sneeze. All right. Um, let's go back to the White House. And then let's see if we can go to New York without having to boost our character. New York, New York. Uh, also, let's see inventory if I have like the gun that I want. Also, wait, I, we have some junk that I want to... Let's see, deconstruct junk. Yes. Um, Let's see, guns. What do I have? Military AK. I think it's still a good one. This is the thing that I always sort of struggled with a little bit. I always struggled a little bit with like the type of guns that were available. Um. Oh wait, wrong button. And which one I liked? Tom Clancy is a lot darker than I remember. I think Tom Clancy games have always been somewhat, well, maybe not dark, but like serious, of course. Oh wait, wait, you mean? This guy? <laughs> You've been sun tanning a lot. I think he's a cutie though, don't you think? I mean, I can't, can I show his face? Yeah, look at him. Isn't he like a cute guy? I think he's really cute. Such a cutie, a character. Can I shoot here already? No, I need to, okay, let's go a little bit further because I want to test out another gun. Too cute to carry a gun. All right, let's see. Um, test out. Let's see. I got the military AKM right now. Let's test out this SOCOM. Um, equip. Okay, that's a single shot. Yeah, I don't want that. So that's a single shotgun. Do I have a good SMG? DMG, DMG. I don't think I have a lot of SMGs. No, I don't. I think I do. Oh, wait, no, no, that's not a DM. No, no, oh, crap, that's dumb. That's not a DMG, that's damage. I don't even know why. I, what I thought DMG was like a thing. Um, This is the one that I had before. I think this is an SMG, but it doesn't have a lot of damage. I don't think I have a lot of SMG, so I should probably try and find some at some point. Um, I also got a cache, so let's open that. Uh, open cache with F. Alright, two things that I probably don't really care too much for. Uh, I can wear a new... Let's see, which one is that? This one. Let's have more armor, so let's equip that. Also looks kind of cool. Um, and then we can deconstruct this. Um, there's one thing that I always struggled with. It's weapons. Um, oh, Marcus Jung V. I always struggled with like weapons in this game and like what weapons are liked. Oh, not this one. Uh, the other. This one, I want to mark as junk. All right, let's deconstruct the junk. That is the one thing, like if I need to give like a review or whatever of this game, the one thing that I struggled with all the time is um, like, you know, my gear. Because there's so many, and I struggle with that with this game. I struggle with that in Destiny as well. There's so much different gear types there's so much different like stats that you have to pay attention to and i always struggle with like what gear types i need to focus on what gear what like what like look at this if i just look at my guns alone we, they have a damage they have an rpm and magazine those are like you know they make sense but then also they have like you know attributes they have mods that i can en enable they have like talents it's like so many different things that you need to pay attention to and it's always very like mind-boggling to me sometimes 
That's why I like Fortnite. You can just throw away a gun for a different one, no sweat. Yeah, and like, there's not that. There's not like you know a million different like guns. Hope you're ready to go to New York. Since your Asians hasn't reached level thirty, world tier five. Wait, I have though. I have reached level thirty. Oh wait, wait. Am I not world tier five? Do I need to set that up? I think I need to set that up somewhere. Um, how do I do that again? <laughs> Stupid fly. Um, how do I do that again? World tier. Crap, I think I need to set my world tier somewhere. How again do I do that? Um... Wait, let's quickly Google that. Um, let's quickly Google that. The Division 2, how to get to level 30 world tier 5. How to fast level to world tier 5, how to get, get to, world tier, to reach world tier 5. Get a gear score of 425, complete capital building, district junior era in Roosevelt Island, invader strongholds, finish the title base in invader strongholds. I mean, I kind of don't want to do that though. Because I am level 30. How do I unlock world tier 5? As previously stated, you need to already be in the end game to have a level to world tier 4. By this point, you should have top gear level score of 450. See, and that's the thing. We need to complete the capital building of Roosevelt Island strongholds one more time to unlock a new side mission. You know, I'm just going to boost it. I mean, I, I, I don't necessarily care to play this game for the achievements anyway, because it's Ubisoft, so I don't really care for the achievements. Because it's not Steam. So I'm, and I, I want to go to New York. So I'm just going to do it. Boom. Let's go. That way, maybe my character is going to be slightly better leveled, leveled up as well. So yeah, I think it's a good idea. Let's leave Washington behind. Let's go to New York. New York, New York. New York. Man, this fly. Cutscene! After the green poison outbreak, we worked tirelessly to stabilize the country. The division was on the brink of collapse. Agents were called to DC to try and stave off a civil war. Deadly factions roamed the streets and vied for control of the nation's capital. Hyenas, opportunists who exploit the weak and vulnerable. The weak and vulnerable. Outcasts. Green poison survivors seeking retribution from a society that abandoned them. And the true sons. Mutineers and deserters guilty of war crimes. Alongside brave civilians, we fought to stabilize DC. And took back the city. Yeah, I didn't though, because I didn't complete all missions. So, whoops. <laughs> we couldn't defeat the power of corruption. Military contractors known as Black Tusk invaded and tried to undo everything we had accomplished. We stood our ground and with the odds stacked against us, we pushed them back. I love these uh, these graphics. They look really cool. There are still dangers out there. It's up to us to remember what we are fighting for. Yeah, what we are fighting for. That was all DC, so like... Oh wait, now we're going to, to New York. The division has suffered heavy casualties at City Hall. We believe it was a targeted strike. Isaac has identified an unknown biological compound. Oh, her Contact voice or her mouth movements are very good. Look at that! Seen anything like it before. New York has requested support from agents all over the East Coast. We need to help them. Fela will be our point of contact. 
Our Brooklyn Bridge is collapsed. Was Lady Liberty crying? Oh, I didn't see that. I think she doesn't. I don't think they copy. Graphics of this cutscene look amazing, by the way. Now we are in the engine. Oh, look at my cool character. Look at him. Such a cutie. They don't copy, but maybe they paste. <laughs> Do you copy? No, but I paste. Look at that. We're in the city. Where are we, though? Wait, do I have a new gun? Oh, this is a lovely gun. Is this a new gun? Oh, it looks like it is. Oh, I love this gun. So speedy. Where are we? Two bridges. Wait. Battery Park, Financial District, Civic Center, two bridges. Okay, so Central Park is like way up here, I guess. So we're down, like we're down in the, uh, close to the Financial District. I wonder if this is the entirety of the map in this uh, expansion. I wonder. Interesting. So that that means that in like landmarks like, you know, um, like Times Square and such won't be in this DLC then. Oh, I love this gun, though. I love how powerful it is and how fast it shoots. Copy pasta. I wonder if they would do like a Division 3, like another sequel to this game. I wonder what city it would take place in, because the first game took place in New York City. The second game took place in Washington DC, so I wonder where a third game would take place. Immediate medical assistance needed. Kelso, get inside City Hall and secure the wounded. I'll send help as soon as I can. Wait, do I not have Oh I got a completely Oh, I got a completely different getup. That is so weird. Interesting. Maybe in Hollywood LA? Yeah, maybe that could work, like in like, an you know, LA area, yeah. Either that or maybe Chicago or San Francisco. Maybe San Francisco would be really cool as well. That's because you got boosted. Do they have to give me like different... Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, look at how beautiful. Man, it... I, even though it's in a game, it always feels good to be back in New York City. I always love being in New York in games. Entering contaminated area. Contaminated area? Okay, mask up. Unknown biological comp contaminated area. I have number one. It was so fun. I now dabbled in number two as I want us to finish the story first. Oh, I have number one. You never finished Division 1. It's really good. If you ever get the second one, um, and you ever want to play it together, though, uh, you know, I'm always down. If I can give you a tip, if you want to play, um, if you want to, if, if you want it somewhat cheap, get it on the Epic Game Store, then Ling, because usually it's, you can find it sometimes over there for like, you know, 10 bucks, and then sometimes you get like a discount code as well. 
get it on the Epic Games Store and then link your Epic account and Ubisoft account and then you can download it on Uplay so you don't have to use the Epic Games Store. That's what I did. And I got like a coupon for like, I think it was like 15 bucks and I got a coupon for like 10 bucks off. So in the end, I paid like not really that much. Then I just linked my Ubisoft accounts and it totally works. Can't wait for you to play Spider-Man. Oh yeah, that's when that when is that coming 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 out? I think in like August. Very excited for that as well. I mean I've played it before, so it's not like my first time playing it, but I'm very excited to play it again. I'm with the survivors. Oh man. The Aven settlement is sending medics. Make sure the area is secure before they arrive. It's gotta be right here coming into the basement. Agent, cover us while I get these people out. Alright, I'll do my best. It's going to be just me now, I guess. Done with DIY for the day. Nice. Press G and encrypt grenade and throw it. I think I'm like two, three missions away from the end. That's an interesting tip. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't work with like, you know, like games that you can get on Steam, for instance, as well. It doesn't work like that, but you can somehow like, I mean, I'm not sure exactly how I did it, but you can like link your Epic Games account and like Ubisoft accounts. And then the game just appears in your, um, the game just appears in your Ubisoft library. So... You don't have to like do anything weird. You can just, you know, completely forget the Epic Epic Game Store launcher and like completely contamination in. source detected. Okay, we don't want to go there clearly. Away from the smoke. I don't think our masks can handle that shit. Yeah, clearly not. No, no, no. Active server detected. Let's download some footage. Downloading. Let's hope this download is going to go fast. Oh, there we go. That was that was actually pretty fast. Running facial recognition. Analysis. Oh, this fly! It's driving me nuts. If it's still here tomorrow, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do everything that I can to get rid of it. Analysis complete. Javier, Kajika, James, Dragoff, Theo, Parnell. Vivian Conley. Status. Rogue. How did they do facial recognition? Because all of them wore like masks or helmets or something like that. How did they do facial recognition? Analysis complete. Aaron Keener. Status. Rogue. Okay, he, he wasn't wearing a mask, but the other ones I believe were. Like either a mask or helmets. Entering contaminated area. After Coney Island, we knew Kano was working on some kind of virus, but I didn't think he could weaponize it this fast. Sure well, clearly he did. Lau, the medics have arrived. They're extracting the survivors. Meet me at the Haven settlement. Look at this. Oh wait, is this like a subway um subway tunnel? I think it might be. Let it look so cool. Look at the uh, look at the beautiful architecture I hate how F is is like using things I mean this gun is great either that or these enemies are just very weak but I love this gun Survivors have been extracted. City Hall is clear. Let's regroup in the park and go to Haven. Um, yeah, I'll take him. I guess I'll, like, even though I have, like, gold armor and everything, because I, I am, like, you know, boosted indeed, like Trick said, 
I think I need to, you know, level up again to like get some other gear. And that's again, like that's the thing that I always struggle with in this in this game. Eyes and facial details are unique to people. Oh wait, so oh you, you mean like because they were wearing masks, they could still see like you know their face or their eyes. Ooh, tactical dark green pants. Let's take them. Yeah, maybe that's true. So, so one thing that I struggle with, like, look, I have blue, I have a blue item equipped, even though orange or yellow is like high end and this is specialized. So this is like lower quality gear. Um, yet I think the game feels that this is better than this one. Look like, you know, like even like, you know, you can compare it. Like if we compare the two to this one, you can see that, you know, like the armor is way less, the health is way less. So it's definitely not as good as this one, which I think is always, you know, I always don't understand that because this is, you know, like this is a lesser quality tiered item, you know, like this is blue, this is yellow. And that's always the thing, like I, I always struggle with like, what do I need to pay attention to in this game to get the best gear? And I don't know, like this is, this is green, yet it has a higher armor than this, this purple one. So like, is this better than this one? You know what I mean? And I'm not sure if that, I'm not sure if I'm just dumb or if I'm just like old or something and I just don't understand it. I don't know what it is. But that has always been the thing that I've struggled with in these games. Like, I never know what I need to look for in terms of, you know, the quality of my gear and which gear I should keep, which gear I should equip. It is better because it's level 31. Yeah, but even though it was level 31, it wasn't like the same, you know, like category, if that makes sense. Like it was it was like green, which is the lowest, the lowest category versus yellow. Area. Oh, crap. I didn't want to jump over there. Crap. But it's all good. Look at me being cool. Nice to see you in one piece. Thank you. Agent Lau sent us Haven's coordinates. Let's go. Travel to Washington, D.C. Oh, I can just do that. Oh, I need to complete the Wallows of New York, your campaign. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, that's the thing. Like, do I need to pay attention solely to... Um, to, like, the level? Like... Yeah, what do I need to pay attention to? And like I said, I always, I try to um, invest myself in, like, I try to learn, like, you know, those kind of things and what I should pay attention to. But it's just, there's so many statistics that it's just really hard to, at least for me, at least, it's really hard to understand all of them. And the same thing I have in Destiny 2. Although I feel in Destiny there's less of those kinds of statistics. Decontamination zone, Lower Manhattan. It's strange being here, where it all started. I guess you build up a picture in your mind. You assume it had to be a perfect storm for everything to go so wrong. But the more you look at it, the more you realize this could have happened anywhere. Amherst just chose New York. Oh yeah, Amherst, I remember that name. That's the guy that started the uh, the spread of the virus. So I think the story is that it started in New York City around like Christmas, like around the holidays. And it was a virus that was spread through the use of dollar bills. Um, so it was like a virus, I believe, like in powder form, I guess. And they, they put it like on dollar bills. And because it was around the holidays, you know, people were spending so much money. That should slow them down. People were spending so much money. So like, you know, dollar bills would switch hands all the time. And that's how the virus spread so fast in, in the first place. I think that's, I believe that's the story, like how it happened. Which I think, I, I mean, you know, it's of course not very realistic, but at the same time, I think it totally is. Come on, we've got to keep moving. I heard some pretty messed up things about the cleaners back in DC. 
They seem to think the only way to save this city is to burn everything that could be contaminated. It's hard to believe they were regular people before the outbreak. Get to Haven as soon as you can. Just don't expect a warm welcome. The guy in charge, Paul Rhodes, isn't happy to see me. These are some very typical New York buildings as well. Love it. Wait, can we go inside this building? Oh yeah, see, there's a weapon here. See, this is green again, so like... I think because we went to New York, I think that means that... Um... We just start all over again from like, you know, level 30. We'll have to just loot our way back up. I think. Maybe I should try and find like a video or something. Like a video explaining the um, the gear stats of this game. Like if there is a video, I think, I mean, I tried to look at, you know, like articles and like, you know, like on Reddit, like Reddit posts. I tried to look at those, but... Because I just, it was just so much reading, I couldn't really focus on it. So I think if I find like a video, that would totally help, I think. To, you know, explain to me the uh, the gear levels and stuff like that. So I might have to look into that. Maybe there is someone that made a video for that. Get Hello. back. We're here to speak with Rhodes. You're not welcome here. We've taken in enough agents. It never ends well for us. Get back! Let him in. Rhodes wants to hear what they have to say. Let him in. Fine. Also, I remember the name Rhodes. I think Welcome Paul Rhodes. Haven. This settlement was founded a few months back by some ex-JTF and civilian volunteers. They're calling themselves the Peacekeepers. Peacekeepers. This place in Lower Manhattan. They've got security, food, supplies, you name it. The fact that they're still going and haven't been run over by the Rikers or the Cleaners is pretty impressive. But they're not very fond of the division, which is why we need to convince them to help us while we go after Keener. Come see me in Rhodes' office. He's not my biggest fan. Too much history there. Hopefully we can convince him to let us stay. Ooh, look, can I get one of these masks? Because I kind of like them. Look at them. They have some pretty cool gas masks. Can I Can I get one of them? For, you know, aesthetic reasons, obviously. I'm not your biggest fan. I'll follow you until you love me. Cutscene. Ooh, an in the engine one, I guess. Fuck that. Vision had its chance. We need somewhere to regroup. Find somewhere else. How do you know Haven isn't Keener's next target? Are you kidding me? You'll make us a target. We can keep you safe. <laughs> of course you can. Just like Hell's Kitchen. I'm not gonna fall for that shit again. We're fighting the same fight here. And who is that? Our situation's a fuck ton. These people feel safe. Oh wait, so they were in Midtown and now they are lower in Lower Manhattan? Right. The situation feels better for you now. But feeling safe doesn't mean you are safe. It's getting pretty rough out there, Paul. But it's your decision. It's his decision. Do what you need. To take care of Keener. And then I want you out. All of you. Keener is our main target, but right now, his whereabouts are unknown. That bastard's hiding somewhere in the city, planning his next move. Based on the footage you found in City Hall, we've managed to get leads on the other four rogue agents. Theo Parnell, tech specialist and conspiracy theorist. His whereabouts are unknown, but we think he is linked to the surveillance drones we've been tracking around the city. One was recently shot down in Civic Center. We need you to recover the drone. You might be able to find him from the metadata. Vivian Conley, explosives expert and a high-ranking leader for the cleaners. We've been getting reports of increasingly aggressive cleaner These attacks. These cutscenes are so bridges. cool. Check in with the local peacekeepers. They've been tracking their movements. James Dragon. Quick, welcome back. 
heavy weapons expert, and the acting leader of the Rikers here in Lower Manhattan. He's holed up in a fortified compound in Wall Street. We've had some agents looking for a chink in his armor for some time now. Check in with the local safe house for more info. Javier Kajika, tactical operations expert. He's a ghost, but he leaves a remarkable signature. We've had reports of a number of patrols being ambushed in Battery Park. We're pretty sure it's Kajika. Best bet would be to follow his trail and see where it leads. There's no time to waste. Going after any of these targets will bring us closer to Keener. In the meantime, we'll do what we can from Haven to support you. Good luck, Agent. Thank you. All right, so it's only these four four areas of the uh, um, of the uh, of of the of the city, I guess. So we've got two bridges: Civic Center, Battery Park, and the Financial District. Oh wow! Look at oh man! Look at my 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 shirt. Look at how cool that looks in this. Um, in, in this, in this, you know, potato cam view. I kind of love that. <laughs> that looks so cool. <laughs> I think because of all the different colors. Uh, too bad it's only a teensy part, but better than nothing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's see, the map is covered in Fog of War and the GPS guidance is unavailable where Fog of War is present. The key to Manhunt least uh, represented by investigation areas, which you can navigate by placing a waypoint. Set waypoints. So we're going to go there first, I guess. Battery Park, 0% fog of war, reveal, liberation not started, lead, quarantine, skyscraper. Alright. What the fuck does Rhodes think is going on here? This is a goddamned war. Keener's targeting us. The moment we start to make real progress, here we are again, fucking around and arguing with each other. Wait, who's I that? Enough. This fuck stick needs to die. And I don't care who we have to go through or who we have to work with to do it. Sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. I know. This piece was hard won. And now we've lost it. We're going to get him. We have to. Okay, relax. We, we will. I'm, I'm sure we're gonna it's gonna it's gonna be fine, okay? Relax. Right, let's have a look at my inventory. Uh, okay, so I love this gun. So I think this is a uh, this is an SMG I get. Oh, it's a, it's actually an assault rifle. That's a very fast one. Then it has a very high RPM, which I love. So that's really good. Um, Nine hundred RPM. This one has slightly higher damage, but again, it's green. It is level thirty one. But that's the thing. Like this has, like all these statistics. And that's like that's the thing that I like. I said, I struggle with a lot. Uh, let's see. Can we get a um, skin on this thing? Can't get a skin on this? Huh. It's a bummer. Well, I mean, die. Wait, can I mod options? Oh, no, wait, that's different. Um, Yeah, I don't think I can do that. But let's see, I might be able to just ditch all the lower level guns right now because I don't think I'm going to use them again. So let's do that. So let's mark this as junk, 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 junk. Junk, because all of these are level 26. So let's do a couple more. Let's not mark all of them as junk, but like let's mark at least a couple of them as junk. Do I have like a shotgun? Oh, I do actually. Okay. We can mark this as junk. So we can just start over, I guess. All right, let's... Let's mark everything that is not level 30 as junk. All right. Uh, then deconstruct all the junk. Perfect. So now we have like a couple left that are all level 30. So I think that's good. Um, we've got a shotgun here. We've got that. Wait, this, wait, this is still a shotgun level 27. Let's uh, deconstruct that as well. All right. 
Then let's go back. What do we have here? We got a backpack. I think I found a different one though. Um. Equip this one. Then let's mark as junk these three. So I keep my uh, inventory a little bit clean. Let's see, we got some gloves. To mark these. Uh, mm. Then we have these. Let's see, these are level 31. They have higher armor, but these are purple. And again, that's... Let's equip this one. And that's the thing. That's, I think, also a thing with a game like this, is that it's not just like a... Um, equip that one. It's not like... Um, you get like one item, then you keep using that. I think it's like a very like an evolving set of like weapons and gear that you use. I think that's always a thing with a game like this. All right. We've got one cache, so let's open that. What do we have? A gun, a pistol, and another holster system. So let's have a look at that if it's better. It does seem slightly better in the armor stats, so let's go with that one. Um, and then I had a different gun as well. It has lower magazine, slightly more, well, double the damage, but lower magazine, so I don't like that. I'm going to stick to the one that I have already equipped. Uh, what's this? Multi-shot grenade launcher, signature weapon, all right. I don't know how I got that, but nice. I'm not sure how I can equip that, but that's a, apparently a signature thing. So apparel, I have something new. I got a new pants. Oh yeah, I found some new pants. Don't like them that much, so let's stick with the, the outfit that I have already on, because I like that. Um, I got a Santa hat as well. Stick to this beanie, I like that. Um, kind of like this, this gas mask sort of hazmat suit kind of thing, but it kind of looks weird as well, and it makes me not see my face anymore, so I guess I don't necessarily want a mask. So we're going to leave that. All right. Cool beans, let's go. Can I talk to him? Don't think I can. Need anything, come by and see. Meet Benitez. Don't worry about Rhodes, he'll warm up to you. At least I hope he will. He's a <laughs> good guy. Principled, we need more like him. But we need more like you too. More like you too. Are great, but I'm not gonna put food on the table or protect you from a pack of Rikers. <sighs> what I need is a cup of Kermit's. This freeze dried crap is killing me. I guess beggars can't be choosers. I guess not. Uh, time for me to head out again and work and stuff tomorrow. See you real soon. No worries, tricks. No worries. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you had a good time. Sleep well, have a good day at work tomorrow. Look, we have a doggo. Can we pet the dog? We can pet the dog. What a cutie. Okay, okay. Look at that cutie. Ah, oh, that is such a sweet, he's such a good boy. That is such a good boy. Right. Oh wow, there's a lot of uh, other players here. All of these people are real players. Hello. 
Co-op, you can play any activity with up to three other players, group up with friends, or play with other players in safe houses and public spaces of the base of operations and settlements. Being part of a clan is a handy way to find people to group up with. Matchmaking allows you to easily find players to group up with. You can target specific activities to matchmake for, like main missions to matchmake for a mission, and select matchmaking while on the mega map, or with a mission selected, or by opening the mission options menu. If grouping up with other players is not your thing, you can always play solo. Almost all activities of the game can be played solo, with the exception of raids, competitive modes, and the dark zone, where while even if not part of the group, you can still run into other players. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Crafting station. Do I want to craft something? I don't know. I, I think for now I don't. Um, so let's go back. I really need to uh I really need to find like a video explaining. Oh look at these. City Hall Station. Fulton Street Station. I really need to find a um like a video explaining like all these kind of gear stuff, because that's that's the one thing that I struggle with in this game. Battery Park Civic Center. Where are we going to Battery Park? Wait, where are we going to pa Battery Park? I guess. Can I shoot already? No. Where's the uh, Where's the nearest exit? Wait, am I going the right way? Financial district, home of the old world's most powerful economies. Look where that got them. Oh, wait, no, I have to go to Battery Park. Wait, so I'm now in the Financial District and I wanted to go to Battery Park. So let's go to the other exit. Be careful playing around in the mud. Battery Park. Oh, wow, look at that. That's is wait, is that the district was devastated by flooding after a hurricane. It's more like a swamp than anything else now. There used to be a lot of concentrated wealth down here. Most of the locals Look at that. It's it's one world trade center. That is so cool. I, I didn't know that was in the game. Down. Most people didn't have that option. Wait, which gun is this? Oh wait, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, which gun? Wait, which guns am I playing with? Got him. Wait, what happened to my gun that I really like, though? My 900 RPM. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here now that, that's more like it. That's so cool. I didn't know that One World Trade Center was in the game because I, I believe sometimes these buildings are like trademarked or like these buildings have like a copyright on them and they can't add them in a game like this. Um, I don't think in the first game it was in there as well. Uh, exactly. No, no, crap. I didn't want to. Uh, crap. I didn't want to equip that. Oh, I didn't actually equip it. Okay, good. Uh, I think in the first game it wasn't in there either because of like, you know, trademark and copyright issues, but I guess maybe they got like a license for it now. Which is interesting. Are oh, these are good guys? Hello. I wonder if they um guidance unavailable. I kind of want to get closer though. I I'm sure that I'm leaving. Uh, I'm a little bit leaving. Can I go there? Oh wait, maybe we can't really. Yeah, I think this is this is it. So it's slightly outside of the zone. It's slightly outside of the zone. But let's see how far we can get though. Just transcoded some sound and videos from DTS to AAC. Nice. Um, any house I'm heading to bed see you Wednesday. No worries, Mars. No worries. Thank you so much for stopping by. I uh, hope you had a good one. Sleep well. Have a good, have a good sleep. Be a good boy. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks for the lovely stream. Thank you for being lovely company. Bye-bye, Miles. Bye-bye.
which you ignore, by the way. Okay. And so I don't think we can get completely to the, um... I don't think we can get, you know, all the way to the World Trade Center, but let's see how far we can take it. All right. Oh, I think that's the end. That's a bummer. So I don't think we can see the, um... The, what's it called? The, uh, the subway hub there as well. It looks really cool. But I don't think we're going to be able to see that as well. Oh, lots of stuff here to loot. Oh crap, uh, loot is F. Lots of suitcases here with stuff in it. Yeah, this is the closest we can get. That's a bummer though. I would have loved to be at the foot of the Trade Center, but... Especially since it's in the game now, for some reason, which I didn't know. Um, but that's not gonna happen. Wait, um... There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go to our first... ...mission, I guess. Wait, there's a subway station we can go into? Cortland Station? Oh, no, we can't really go in because there, it's closed. I'm looting all kinds of stuff. I'm not really sure what I'm looting, but I think the things that I loot are basically used for like crafting and stuff like that. Uh, where do I, where am I supposed to go though? Because I am. What is this? Public execution. Oh yeah, we can, we can maybe stop that. Let's take out these guys. Oh man, I love this gun. It's such a good gun. I love how it has like a very high RPM. Incoming hostiles detected. Oh, it's coming from behind us. Yeah, so I think it's not necessarily the gun that is amazing, but I think it's also that the enemies are just not as great. Yep. I think they will be better, but I think for now the enemies are just not great. Ooh, what did they leave on the ground? What is that? Grenade launcher ammo. Okay, nice. Hello. Are you okay? All right, they're not really talkative, but you know, you're welcome. So I think I thought maybe they would have left like basically everything that was in the first game. They would just leave in this game as well in terms of like locations. I guess they didn't, which, you know, you might say that it might make sense that they didn't do that. I just figured, you know, like maybe they would just leave in everything from the first game, like the entire map. Since they, you know, they have it already anyway. Then again, you know, it's probably not as easy as I say, like, you know, just poured over a map like that is probably not as easy. But yeah. What time is it? Almost midnight. All right. So I think we're going to do this one mission that we have... Um, that we are on our way to. 
At least I think we're on our way to that. Yeah, so I think this is a mission. I used to... Oh, wait, that's a bounty. Oh, wait, there's a safe house here. Actually, I want to set a waypoint there. Because I want to get into that safe house. If we can. Can I take out these guys? And it's fun. It's also funny because, you know, this this game, the, the first game took place, like I said, around the holidays. So you can see, even though I think it's like summertime, you can see like all these, you know, Christmas and holiday decorations that are still out there. Uh, because that's when, you know, the first game took place. So that kind of, it kind of, it looks weird, but it makes a lot of sense that it's still out there. Like all these holiday decorations. Um, elite patrol. Let's heal myself real quick. Loot that it looks good. Looks pretty good. So yeah, I, I wanted to play this game today because like I said before, I, I wanted I was initially gonna play it on uh Friday. Um but then I didn't because ooh, an earpiece, I'll take that. Um I didn't do that on Friday because you know in, in the end we played um uh Jackbox and some Fortnite. So I wanted to play this game today then. Um I don't think it's going to be like a main game of the channel. I don't think I'm going to play it like super often. I, I think I'm definitely going to play it like off stream from time to time as well. Um, but who knows, you know, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll come back to it sometimes. I definitely think, though, that I will. I do want to play the um, Mr. Prepper game again, probably like, you know, sometime this week. So I did enjoy that. Oh, it's a little church. Unlock safe house. Check in with the community leader and see if she knows anything about these patrols. Wait, this is an exit. I just got in though, so let's not already instantly exit. Hey agent, I've been keeping an ear out for patrols in the area. A patrol came by here a while ago. Said they were investigating the tremors we've been hearing lately. They headed tremors. to the Hugh Carey Tunnel further south, but I haven't heard from them since. Okay. Thank you. Let's check out that tunnel. Best case, we find the patrol and they can tell us what they know. Mr. Prepcom was oddly interesting. There's a lot of mystery to it. Yeah, right? Yeah, I'm also kind of wondering what the story of that game is. Um. So yeah, happy to hear that you also kind of liked it. And like I said before, I, I wanted to play it initially just because I was like curious about it and it's on sale right now. So I was like, I want to play the the prologue game because it was free. So I just wanted to check it out. But I'm happy that you guys also um, seemed to like it. Um. Oh yeah, so this is Fog of War. So like we can see these areas, but we can't see this. So I, I should go somewhere. And then uncover like, you know, more parts of the map. I think that's how it works. Portable device detected. Well, I don't see it. I really wonder how they make a I really wonder how they make a world like this, you know? Like, I wonder if they just first build the entire world. And if they then, you know, 
give it like a, a bit of an apocalyptic sauce on top of it. So like they first build the entire world with all the streets and all the buildings and stuff like that. And then they start adding things like, you know, like cars that are, have been abandoned, you know, like foliage, those kind of things. Hello, I see you. All right. Oh, gun. Uh, loot it. Sunglasses, loot them. I'm happy that I installed this game again, that I just chose to just go to New York because I wanted to do that um, for a while already. And then, you know, like the other day last week, I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and let's just install it again and see if I can just experience this DLC because I got the DLC at some point, but I never actually played it. So I was like, you know what, I kind of want to play it and see what it's like. Wait, I can go down here. I'm so sleepy. Ah, So sleepy. All right, what's down here? I love how you can just... Uh, let's take it. I'll just search or figure out later if I want to, you know, equip it or not. Hostile broadcast picked up. Take that as well. Again, I'll figure it out later. Hey, Mondo, how are you doing? Oh, come on in. Stupid fly. Wait, Mondo, wasn't it your birthday yesterday? I think I saw that on the Discord. Or was was that not you? I thought it was you. Yes, nice. Happy, happy belated birthday then. I, I mean, I wish you a happy birthday on the Discord as well. Um... But happy belated birthday. I hope you had a good one. I hope you had a nice birthday. Hostile broadcast detected. All right, so I think we can get, we can climb up again here. Yep. I hope you had a good one, Mundo. I hope you had a nice, uh, a nice birthday, nice celebration. Celebrate good times, come on. Where's the broadcast, though? Some shootings over there. Ooh, nice. Got him. Got him. I think that's it. Where's the uh, where's the broadcast? I don't see it. Should be like right. Oh wait, it's literally right there. 
Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, Mondo, you posted a link. You can't post links because they will... I think you... I'm not sure if you posted a link, but I think you did like a D period VA. I think... Wait, hang on. Let me uh, unban you right there. Sorry about that. Uh, I think you posted something and the bot thought it was a link. Sorry about that. Uh, I did have a great one. It was fun. I played games with my pup friend and had a chocolate mousse cake. A chocolate mousse cake. That sounds delicious. Um, it was great. I got a Sailor Moon water bottle a pit and pin with all the EV Lucians. Uh, I put the uh, I put the pins on my DVA jacket. Wait, your DVA jacket? What is that? Oh, your Diva jacket? Nice. Well, I'm happy that you had a good one. Sorry about the uh, about the bot being uh, overly active there. Where's the broadcast? I don't see it. Nice. What games did you play with your puppy friends? Did you play like online games or like were they like with you like in person? It was a lot of work, but I just did the online statement at the police website for the dude that scanned me. Oh, nice. I hope they, I mean, I don't think they will do anything about it, but hopefully, I hope they will. They will. Normally dots, dots shouldn't do anything. Oh, wait, that's so weird. It should do something. Because it looks like a link to me, so that's weird. It should do something because I have link protection enabled on my bot. So that only um, only when I give you like permission, you can share a link. So that's weird. Maybe it slipped through like the one that you just shared the tour. I don't know. I don't know. But I believe it should normally uh, block those. Next probably start with www. Yeah, seed. Ah, oh, hmm, weird. Oh, there's a doggo. Required. I think the DVA is a link. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think as well. We played games online, we played some Divinity OG Sin 2, uh, Outriders and DVD. Nice! Uh, can you unban uh, the tour, by the way? Oh wait, 60 seconds, so I think it's already over. This the speaker over it? Yeah, key. There we go. So I have to go back. I think I have uh, I have too little information of the dude, like an address, but at least I knew his first and last name and his bank account number, uh, and the city he lives. But you first have to fill in some things and tell a, and then a bot tells you if you should do an actual statement or not. And it gave me green light, so I did. Nice. Did you? I were you make sure? Did you make sure that you got the right um, bank account number though? Because I when I looked it up, you know, on the like you know, is this a is this a scammer website thingy? Uh, I initially did like the one that you transferred the money to, but that is, you know, the ticky one. So that is not the right one. But I think in the uh, description, it actually does say his actual bank account number. So did you use that one? Oh, nice. This is also a good gun, even though it's very slow. I like this gun. There we go. I don't think it, I will, it will get my money back, but it might know. It might be known by the police now if somebody checks his bank account number there. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 like you know. I think the only thing you can do. Ah, oh, cool. We did it. I did get a chew toy for myself. It's in the shape of a bone and it's pride colored and it says proud pup. Oh, that is so cool. Where did you get that from? And is it like very chewy? Is it like, you know, can you actually chew on it as like a human, human puppy? Hello, doggo. Wait, why can't I pet the dog? Normally I can pet the dog. Hello, doggo. I want to pet you. Wait, why can't I pet you? I believe that's a feature in this game that I could do. Why can't I pet you? No, I want to pet you. I want to pet the dog. I don't think I can. Look, he's so scared. Oh, he's so scared. Poor thing.
There's a squeaker in it too. Oh man, squeaky toys are definitely life, but I'm not allowed to get squeaky toys myself. So, I, I mean, I, I get that, but you know, sometimes it's it's a bummer, but squeaky toys are absolutely life. Didn't see he was banned. Guess I have to be in mod view. Yeah, no, it's, it's fixed already, so don't worry about it. Also send him a screenshot of the statement made so he knows he might get scared. We'll see, we'll see. Petco, yeah, it was like it's like a plushy chew, so it's soft but made from the, like this tough material, so it's durable and washable. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, all right, so where are we going next? I also got myself a new collar and tag, and I got my hubby his first collar and tag. Wait, so your 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 I, I mean uh, hubby, I assume husband uh, is is he also a puppy? That is so cool. Um, oh, we can move around the map. Perfect. I kind of want to go here. Because, can I put, like, a toggle GPS? Can I put, like, a waypoint here? No, I don't think so. Because I kind of want to go here so we can unlock this part of the map as well, but... Wait, why aren't you allowed to have squeaky toys? Wait, me? Because we have a bio doggo who definitely, um won't like me, you know, playing with squeaky toys. And also Peter is like, and I, I do understand that as much as I don't like it. I do understand that he's like, if you're going to play with squeaky toys and it's going to be squeaky, squeaky, squeaky all the time, that he's going to get crazy. So and I, I get that. But as a puppy, I love squeaky toys. When I'm at Bark and Play, like that puppy vent here in the Netherlands when I that I go to when I am there, like I always play with the squeaky toys because it's like, they make noise, they make sound, and I like that. I want a squeaky toy to chew on and help hold down my ADHD. Oh, why don't you get one? My husband just recently started to explore his pup space. He is a furry, but he wasn't sure about pup play. Then he watched me playing a bunch and I let him try my hood on and he just loved it. We just ordered him his first custom hood. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Mondo, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Oh, that is so lovely. What what collar did you get? Did you get like a Mr. S neoprene collar? Or like did you get like a different type of collar? Also, Martin, thank you for the host. Are those enemies? They are. I'm still waiting to get my Mr. S um, neoprene collar. I ordered it recently. But it was on backlog, so it's gonna it was gonna take a little bit before it came in. So I hope that comes in soon, because I can't wait to wear that while popping out and while playing. Because the color that I have right now is very nice and I still love it. But while playing, I noticed that, you know, because it's very like, you know big or like loose, I guess. I noticed that the um the tag starts sliding around, which I don't like too much. I wanted to get one of those Mr. S neoprene ones. That would be, um, um, that's slightly more like, you know, tied around the neck. So it doesn't, you know, slide around as much. Because what I notice is when, I, when I'm playing, like the, the tag itself starts to go like behind my back and then it gets stuck there. I don't like that. So I want one that is, you know, would stay in place a little bit better. But they, they have it on back order. So it took a little, it took like a couple of weeks before it would get here, like two months, I guess, something like that. So hopefully it'll get here soon. Uh, the Turo, thank you for the host as well. He's going super colorful. Uh, he's going to Mr. S1. It's like a base of purple, it has cobalt, blue and pink. Nice. If you have like a picture of the design, I would love to see that. Like you can post it in the Discord if you want to in the puppy channel. If you, if you want to, of course, if you have like an image of the design, I would love to see what it looks like because it sounds very colorful indeed. And me likes colorful. All right, I'm not sure where we're going to go. Um, I think we wanted to go like this way. Oh, wait, you know what? Let's just go straight on so we can unlock that part of the map as well. And we have another broadcast there and we can have a look at the uh, at the World Trade Center again, which is super cool. I love that that is in this game. Even though we can't get there, it's still very cool that it's in the game. Oh 
Wait, there's another guy there. Who built this city? Whatever the F an influencer is. More enemies are coming in. Where are they coming in though? Right oh, there they are. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, just in time. Before they started throwing their grenades. I posted it. Nice. I'm going to have a look at it in, uh, in a little bit. Can't wait to see it. More enemies coming in. Ooh, that's not going to get here. Crap. Oh, did I get in time? I really like this gun, it's so good. All right, I think it's clear now, so I can have a quick look at the Discord. Uh, let me quickly have a look. I have his custom design, his name is Pup is Saturn. Oh, I love those colors. I love those colors. Purple, blue and pink, that is very lovely. Don't do that, okay? All right. Um All right, let's see where are we? Oh, we need to walk slightly f wait, we are here. So let's walk a little bit further so we can maybe get this part of the map too. Then we can maybe also take care of that control point over there. Um, difficulty story, supplies available. Yeah, let's go there. I want to try a puppy here too to see how it is, but my head is enormous, so I can't check with Jordy's one. I really wonder if you would like, you know, be into puppy play the same way I, as I am. Like, I, is it like not in like a judgmental way. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. really loves pink in particular and he was uh, putting it together and playing with the colors and he also really liked the purple and blue he wants it to look kind of like cosmic yeah yeah i see what you mean i see what you mean yeah i love pink as well that's why my main color in my hood is is pink um but i wanted to get the black base um like i love the black base because it has like you know this smooth neoprene and i wanted to get that uh, so I didn't want to get like a colorful base on it because then you have like the different type of neoprene that I didn't want. So that's why it still has the black base, but it does have the, you know, the pink and colored accents. Can't get that. I don't think so, but it would be fun to see how I look. Wait, you don't think you would be like, you know, into it as much as like, you know, I am. Like, you know, actual like puppy play and stuff. I showed him your Twitch too when he was like, I like pink. <laughs> nice. Well, he's in good company because I like pink as well. Obviously, like, I don't think I have to explain that, but like, you know, obviously I like pink as well, so.
I don't know if I've tried who's at Bark and Play. Um, I believe they have like a couple, but Peter usually doesn't really come to that, so... Um... You know, that wouldn't work. And I do have my old one, but I think that is also not really, like, the size of that one is also not great. Though if you really are curious and you want to try it out, you can always get, like, a very cheap one of, like, Amazon for, like, 20 bucks or something. I mean, they're not the same quality, but still. Civilians in distress. Civilians in distress. We tried that one and it didn't work. Yeah. Uh, shoot the flag gun to initiate takeover of control points. Once liberated, the control point becomes friendly and you can access the stockpile for loot rewards. Okay, nice. So we can try and do that. Call nearby allies. Not sure if it's a good idea that I'm doing this solo, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. I think it should be fine, though. I don't want to spend spending on something that I just want to see for a minute. Yeah, that's fair. I get that. What, what if you really like it, though? Crap. Like, what if you wear it and you're like, oh, man, this, this actually does something for me. Oh, I got him. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I don't want to get up here. Don't, don't, don't do that. Okay, normally I'm not a huge fan of, like, snipers in a game like this, but I do like this one. Ooh, that was a good lucky headshot. Right there behind me? Oh, I didn't realize they would also come behind me. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, that kind of sucked that they came from behind. I like this puppy hood. This is part of my sleepwear now. <laughs> I've never slept in my hood. I wonder how comfortable that would be if at all like if it, it would be even if, if it would even be comfortable or not i hate that it constantly zooms out and then back in again got him Alright, so the, the friendlies are also here, so that's good. I don't know where the heavily armored hostile is. Alright, I think he's over there. Right, let's get those guys away first. Oh crap, I only have two more magazines for this gun, I guess. Where's the, uh, where's the enemy, uh, where's the leader, the guy? Oh wait, he's over there. I think ideally I need to get a little bit closer to it. Got him. So I think it's just that guy and the enemy. Or the, the leader. Alright, stick your head out a couple more times so I can hit you. Oh, I missed. Crap, why do I keep missing? Oh, I hit him. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost down. I 
I don't see him though, so I'm just I'm just shooting at like where his marker is. Oh wait, I think they got him. Nice. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Additional hostile contacts, of course, because you know we just took over this and we just cleared all the hostiles, and now they're like, hey, well, there's more of them because why not? be with you guys in a second chat but let me quickly first take care of these guys before we uh before i focus on you guys again oh crap 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 we did it Nice, nice, nice. Yay! Perfect. All right, let's go get into the supply room. Uh, let's see. I have napped in my hood plenty of times. It's very comfy. I'm sure I could sleep in it if I was like put to bed while wearing it. Huh. I think also what my issue, quote unquote, is, is that I'm probably too afraid that it would like, you know, get damaged while I take a nap. I mean, maybe not when I'm taking a nap, but I like, I think if I would sleep in it, I think I would be too worried that... I would make like a weird sudden move in my sleep or um, I would like, you know, rub my head on like my pillow or something like I would do something weird and then I would like get damaged. Like I would hate for the neoprene to get like a like a um, like a hole in it or something like that. But I reckon it could be comfortable. Maybe I should just try and take a nap in it at some point. Like a nap, I think is still pretty safe, so. Donate food, water. I need water mostly. Let's donate that. Wait, donate all? Gonna be way faster. You're welcome. Electronic device detected. Someone's phone is ringing. Oh, we don't have a Rikers key, so I can't do that. How are we looking? Well, your security could use a few upgrades. Power relays are a mess. What do you mean? Pretty sure someone got a little too happy with the electrical tape. The Rikers started as a gang of escaped prisoners, but Wait, what are they shooting at? Now they rule the black market and are in a violent turf war with the other factions. Um, let's take all of them and let's have a look at our at our loot again as well. Oh wait, there's some enemies here now. Wait, where did they come from? No, oh, I wanted to take the big gun. Dang it, I wanted to take the big gun. Don't just take the big gun like that. She's not even doing a good job with the big gun. Wait, well, yeah, let me take the big gun. Thank you. Anyone else? Oh crap, I can't turn this around far enough. That's it? Yeah, that was it. Alright, so now I can go back in peace and check out my um my inventory. I'm existing on three hours of sleep and start feeling like a sentient potato. Uh I'm blasting some music until I fall asleep. Good night everyone. No worries, Detroit. Good night. 
get some sleepies. Get some good sleepies. I'll probably uh, I'll probably end it uh, soon anyway as well. Um, and get some sleep myself. So, but get some good sleep. Thanks for being here. And see you some other time. All right, let's uh, mark this one as junk. Let's see, all of these have better damage. Let's keep this one. Um, this one has some better... Oh, wait, actually, let's not mark that as junk. Not yet, at least. Um, all right, deconstruct all junk. Go back. What else do we have? We had a new backpack. Let's equip that junk, junk, junk. This is something that like, you know, you always have to do in, in a game like this. Inventory management is always a big thing. I don't like it, but, you know, it is something that you always have to do. Uh, I'm going to leave those for now. Let's see, knee pads. Mm. A lot of new ones here. Let's equip this one first. And these are not really good, so let's mark all of them as junk. Um, anything else? Holster system. This one seems to be better. Junk, junk. Junk, junk. Junk. And I think that was almost it. Open up this cache. Another thing, especially for someone like me that likes to carry everything possible in the game. Yes, yeah, same. Like, I always pick up, like, everything. And like I mentioned before, you know, like, my biggest struggle with this, these kind of games um, is that I just don't know what I'm focusing on. Like, I, there's so many, like, different types of gear so many like different types of like statistics that you can look at um so i always struggle with like you know what do i need to focus on what do i need to look at um equip that so yeah that's always also my thing like i in in a game like this or in i guess in any type of game where you can like loot stuff i always just loot everything like also in like an rpg or something like that i always just loot I always just do like loot all and I just grab everything with me and then my inventory is always way too full. All right, so we opened up this basically this entire part of the map. Um, let's fast travel to this safe house if we can. Yep, there we go. Oh wait, there's a uh, phone here. Got that. I don't think I need to specifically save this game. I think it saves automatically, especially after I fast traveled. Um, so I think I can just go ahead and call it there. I can fall out over over encumbered always, even with power. Yeah, same. Same, like all the time, and it, I hate it. Like it's so annoying because then you want to walk somewhere and you can't because you know you you're carrying too much. Yeah, it's so annoying. Uh, all right, I think we're gonna save the game there. Uh, let's see, quit game. Are you sure we want to quit? Yes. Not sure if that goes to Windows or if it goes to the uh, main menu. I guess we're gonna find out. That is, if, oh, it goes to Windows. Okay, perfect. I was like, okay, which is, which is it going to be? Is it going to go to Windows? Is it going to go somewhere else? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Alrighty then. 
Alrighty then, I'm gonna go and try and find someone to raid. I just take in the scenery to be fair. I find random events that way often. Well, like in a game like Fallout, you mean? I mean, I really love my shirt. It's so comfortable. I really love how, how comfortable it is. And it's very breathable as well. So like, even though it's like a long sleeve shirt, it's definitely still not too warm. So I'm guessing tomorrow night when I'm uh, when I'm by myself, I think I'm really gonna I'm gonna try and just wear my full um, full full MX gear for like an evening, just like chilling, playing some games, I guess, seeing what that's gonna be like. Um. So yeah. Hey CNC Games, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Hello, 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 hello. Um. There's not that many people live currently that we could spread our love over to. Sadly, we did lose <coughs> we did lose a couple of viewers. <coughs> Heck, that's a bummer. Otherwise, we could have had like a bigger raid, which I always like. I'm doing good, you. I'm doing good as well. Thank you. I'm doing good. Um. Tiri ti tiri. Oh yeah, next month is uh, I was just looking at another uh, um, channel, and next month is the um, is a new Thor movie. I forgot about that. I kind of want to see that. I kind of want to see the new Thor movie. Thanks for being awesome. Oh, no, thank you, Amondo. I mean, I we, I talked about this also yesterday and like on, during the um, during the uh, Twitch Leather Pride event. Um, I'm always very happy when when people come in and say that, you know, I've been able to help them, you know, discover parts of themselves and like um, that I was able to help them get in, get like in touch with with like, you know, their peppy side or whatever. It always makes me very happy to hear that. Um, so yeah, so I didn't catch you earlier. No worries, no worries. Um, if you want to know when I'm live again, you can always uh, go, you know, check out my Twitter. I always post about it on the on the Discord as well. Um, but I, I am back again on Wednesday, coming Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Euro European time, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard and 11 a.m. Pacific. So, you know, if you're like, hey, I want to catch more of the stream, then those are the times that I'll be back here. Um... You know what? Let's go ahead and raid. Uh, what's the safe word? They are also um, pup. Amp is also a puppy himself. Um, they're doing a charity stream uh, currently. Um, they're playing some DVDs. So, so even though they are a bigger channel, I'm sure you guys are gonna like it. Um, but yeah, let's do that. You were very helpful to me, you and Rex. Ah, oh, again, like I think you mentioned that before, and it really means so much to me that you say that. Uh, so thank you so much for sharing that. And again, if you ever have any questions or if I can help you with anything or anything like that, always feel free to um, to ask me. Like, I'm always very happy to talk about things, share my puppy experiences, those kind of things. So, um, you know, I mean, I, I mentioned specifically during the Twitch Leather Weekend that, um, you know, I did like, you know, like an AMA so people could always ask me anything. But I guess I do that basically all the time anyway. Like, I'm always very happy when people ask me questions. So... Um, yeah, if you have any questions about stuff, uh, feel more than likely or feel more than free to to ask me. And, you know, if I don't, if I'm not able to answer, then then I don't. But if I am, then I definitely will. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go and do that raid, shall we? Um, so don't leave just yet, chat. Please join us for the raid. As we spread our love over to a, uh, a fellow puppy, a fellow content creator, a fellow uh, kink educator, um, whom I um, sometimes I like to. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm like Luca, but I, I always like that. You know, there's also other people that can grow big, that have a pretty big following, that also are like you know open about their puppy side, open about their kinky side, and like you know doing the educational part as well. So that always makes me very happy. 
Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's leave it at that for today. Like I said before, uh, I'm going to be back here again on Wednesday. Uh, maybe we're going to play the Mr. Prepper game again. Maybe also some more of the Division 2. I'm not sure yet. I kind of feel I'm kind of happy to be back into that game now as well. So uh, we'll see. I didn't make a schedule for this week, so it's going to be a little bit like random. But as always, if you want to stay up to date on my personal life and streaming stuff and like all those kind of things, you can go ahead and follow me on my Twitter account or you can join the Discord channel where you can hang out with me and other members of the community as well. Um, lastly, I will share the raid message with all of you. This is a delicious raid. If you are not a subscriber, you can use the one at the top with our emotes. Uh, and if you are a subscriber, you can use... Um, no, if you are a subscriber, you, you can use the one at the top with our emotes. If you are not a subscriber, you can use the one below that. And then as always, feel free to substitute those emotes for your own or your favorite streamer's emotes instead. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you guys so much. I can appreciate you guys sticking, uh, sticking around, being here. Uh, and I hope you had a good time. I'll see you guys again on Wednesday. For now, be good, behave yourself, and be awesome. And um, yeah, let's go spread some love. Let's go spread some love. Also, I see that he has the exact same headphones as I do. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we share headphones. We share the same headphones. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. The last thing that I will say, as always, is that my name has been Mr. Delicious. You've all been extremely delicious yourselves as well. Take care. Have a good one. And I will see you again on Wednesday. For now, love your faces and bye, bye, bye.